Anyway, uh, game is too massive. Let's play in Ego. And there's no audio. I really hope that's intentional. I really hope there's just like a title screen and like a blast. Okay, there we go. Okay. Glitch City. Uh, yeah. The city that shouldn't exist. A tax haven where corporations and criminals empires reign supreme. In this place, all human life has been infected with nanomachines to keep them in check. I can't read that fast. Here, brutality in all its forms is an everyday reality. I cannot read that fast for many of... Uh... I, I can't read that loud that fast. It's also really loud in my ears. Tell me how the volume is. Small oasis on the concrete desert shit. And it's here where the story unfolds. Okay. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Okay, this is mostly just touch controls. Yeah, settings. Yes, window. Get the BGM and sound effects way down. Uh, scan lines, yeah, off. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This game is the uh, best played. Is best played getting comfortable. Grab some drinks, some snacks, and enjoy it. Well, unfortunately, I don't have beer. Unlike my last endurance stream. So, yeah, unfortunately, I forgot to buy beer. Which is sad. Sad for me, too. But. Uh, I'd love a beer right now. I can't use keyboard. It has to be click. Which is really uncomfortable. Psst. Hey, over here. Boo. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression first impression of it of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend, and the bar will eventually close. And, I'll admit, my little prank on you might have gone a bit overboard. But remember, life is 90% how you take it. Stay focused and look at the brighter side of things. I have no idea what the brighter side of things, what the brighter side is, but you should totally find it. In any case, you should totally check that parcel you just got. See ya. Oh, ugh, just a dream. Hmm? There's something near the door. Chapter 1. Purimera. Uh, your membership to um, shine, wait, Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Okay. Four. 
So, who is that letter from? Joe, nobody. Let's just go to work and see what happens. Good evening. Ah, hey there, Joe. Oh, hey, John. When will you admit you have a John face, Jill? Uh, when you let people call you Jules. Quiet. I, oh my god, it's so loud in my ears. Hold on. Let me lower it even more. Are you okay? You look distracted. Where's boss? Don't know. She went out to buy some stuff and... Did you hear what I just told you? You said something? Yes. That you look distracted. Very, very distracted. It's nothing. I'm just thinking about stuff. What stuff? Well, I have to pay rent by the 30th. Which is always stressful, and... Uh... There's also the fact that I spent a full hour yesterday apparently talking to myself. Not to mention the fact that two days ago I found out the bar is at risk of closing. So not only is my life being shaken up, but I'm apparently going crazy. On top of that, neutering 4 left me with a completely empty wallet, and I'll get evicted if I miss rent again. And there are all the beer cans around my apartment. And... Jill. Sorry, did you say something? Can you really work today? Of course I can. Let's go through the basics then, shall we? Just in case. If you can make a piano, man, I'll skip the rest. But... Bear with me for a second here. Okay? Let's start with a sugar rush. Look for the reps. Uh, look for the recipe uh, using the navigation bar in the recipe book that will show up on the left. You can also sort drinks by flavors, like sweet or types like manly. Uh, drag the desired amount of ingredients from their cells on the right to the shaker in the center. Jill. When done, press the mix button and press it again to stop mixing. Click the serve button or the drink itself to serve. And that'll be all. Oh, but if the drink looks messed up, you'll need to press the reset button and try again. You can press reset at any time, even while the shaker is moving. Don't be afraid to use it. Jill. Jill, I'm the one that went through the formal B BTC instruction. Then this should be no problem. <sighs> Jill wants either a sugar rush or a piano man. If I mess up the ingredients or the drink, I can press the reset button and try again. Um, hold on, so... How is it? Uh, name by f oh, my name. Uh, either Sugar or Piano Man. Let's do Piano Man. So two of wait. Two of these. Three Bronson extract. I back in a couple of hours. I'm going to the gym to work out. Okay. Three Karma Trine. Five of these. Uh, and five Power Delta.
and mix. Uh, is this a piano man? Is this so fucked up that it doesn't even... Wait, all on the rocks and mixed. Oh, wait. I need some... I guess I reset? So... Two of these... Three of these... Five of these... Five of these... And... Three. Says all on the rocks too. So mix. I failed. Um. So how exactly- wait. How am I failing? I have no idea how this is hold on hold up hold up let me let's just try the sugar rush instead no it is okay sugar rush is Two of these, one power delta, and optional this because why not? I still failed. What the fuck? There's something I'm not getting, hold on. Uh -huh. um... So when the drink starts Okay, so when it starts shaking faster, it's blending. It's not mixing Okay You're happy now, okay now I know because usually when I when I um 
Usually when I mix stuff, I just like shake it as hard as I want. Here, happy now? A little, but not quite. Let's do one more. <sighs> I know, I know. Please humor me for a bit. Some drinks need to be blended. This is done by mixing it for over five seconds. You can tell it's being blended when the shaker starts moving faster. Yeah, now I know. Yeah, thank you. You could have told me that earlier. You also need to check if the drink should be served on the rocks or aged. Check I check ice and age buttons on the side and select the one you need. And in case it went and in case it wasn't obvious, on the rocks means you have to toggle the ice tab, yeah. It should be noted that the station will will add the ice after mixing. It's not something you should mind though, it's just a fun fact. Give me a moon blast, and I'll leave you alone. Keep in mind what I said. Yeah, yeah. Hey, moon blast. Ah, uh, oh. Oops. Five, six. Two of these, one of these, and one of these. Um, all on the rocks and blended. Doesn't say that it's aged, so... Perfect. Serve. Here. Did I amuse you for long enough? You did. Sorry to hold you. Let's get working. Yeah. Oh yeah, before I forget. Hmm? You can make any drink big by doubling the amount of ingredients. But if the recipe already has over 10 ingredients, the drink is already big. Oh, and if a recipe says it uses optional karma trine, it means you can use none or fill it to the brim. Optional karma trine doesn't count towards making a big drink, of course. Karma trine is the alcoholic factor in a drink. But it doesn't change the taste. But the amount still has an effect. If you add too much of it, the client will get drunk faster, so please be mindful of that. <laughs> no. You already know I'm gonna be making them drunk as shit. Are you done with the exposition? Now I am, yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, but... Eh? Who's that? I don't know. Found her while I was out shopping. Why bring her here? Well, it was either leave her outside at the mercy of society's finest, uh, uh, the mercy of society's finest, or bring her unconscious body here. She's going to make such a ruckus when she wakes up. You know that. That's up for you to deal with. I'll be in my office. <laughs> you can't just. Push that responsibility onto us. We have work to do, damn it. There are two of you. Believe in yourselves. Uh, do you think Chief knocked her out? Nah, that's unlikely. She'd be, cr she'd be crowing about it or taunting us if that were the case. And it's not like, and it's not like her to pick to pick up such a small girl. At least not unprovoked. Yeah, you're right. We'll just need to keep it quiet. She seems to be sleeping soundly. Not comatose. Yeah. Okay then, time to start the night. Yes. I'll start working while you go clean the bathroom. Um, come again? While you spent the whole weekend and Monday doing God knows what, we've had some interesting clients come in. Dogs. Lots of them. You're joking. Jill, you know me. Jill, you've known me for how long now? 
Do I look like the kind of woman who would make a joke like that? Well... So, as punishment for leaving me to deal with all of you, all of that my lonesome, you'll be in charge of cleaning the bathrooms. Have fun! Just that? Fine, I see no problem. Where's the cleaning stuff? Here. You brought that from home, didn't you? That I did. Fine. With that out of the way, let's play some music on the YouTube box. This model needs to have all of its 12 slots filled with songs before it can start. I wonder... I wonder what was the logic behind that decision. Hmm. Okay. Select a song. Welcome to Valhalla. I'll just do all of them. Can I not, like, have a... Oh, I can. Hold on, let me actually... Nah, it's fine. It doesn't matter. Cool. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey you, get me a beer. Oh sure, right on it. He wants a beer. He looks like quite the big guy though. B. Beer. Um, let, you know, let's make him a big one. One, two. We double all of the ingredients, so one, two, three... Four. One, two. One, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Um... Yeah. Uh, mix. Perfect. Serve. Here you go. Yeah. This one's good. Pretty good, in fact. Nice job. Um, thanks, I guess. You're lucky I was in a meeting close by. This hellhole could have certainly used a presence like mine. Although, to be fair, work has taken me to worse hellholes, like New Jersey 3. Like New Jersey the 3rd. Uh-huh. What kind of work do you do, mister? You're talking to Donovan D. Dawson, chief editor and owner of the... Aug of the Augmented Eye. Nothing gets published there without my blessing. The day started with quite the interesting fellow, it seems. So you're the one to blame for the barrage of daily articles of Alice Rabbit, then. Hey, people love those articles. They love reading about that urban legend. And you blame them? The idea of some wildcard hacker working for their own goals and no one else's. That's the kind of corny shit that brings the clicks from all kinds of people. And clicks bring money, and money brings nice stuff. Stuff like cars and houses, and plastic surgery for the missus and their kids. Well, I'm not complaining about the fact you write about the hackers, just that you write about them every single day. Some of it isn't even news, just speculations or copycats. I can't read your newspapers daily I can't reach the newspaper's daily feed without running into at least one article about Alice Rabbit. Well, first of all, I don't write about it. My interns do. The poor bastards think it will help them make full-time employees. I'm just capitalizing on this topic while it's popular. And second, 
You're tired of one article about a, su a supposed hacker? But not all the daily stories about murder and other horrors? Well, I always filter out that section. I don't want to start my day scared and bitter. I have enough pressure and problems as is. I don't need to add Glitch City's lovely citizens to the list. You're smarter than you look, kid. But if more people were like you, I'd go bankrupt from the lack of traffic. Still, maybe my job would be easier. How so? People get... Dense... Di di get dent dis dissenty dis dissenty okay sorry about that uh, even he doesn't know how to say it. People get bored of a certain kind of news after seeing it repeatedly. When I started in this job, it only took the news of some el elderly woman being killed to guarantee clicks. Now I need an elderly woman carrying a sick baby boy getting hit by a truck. That's not enough. They need a full sob story behind it. And that's why I like those urban legends. They're easy to write about and you can make up any shit you want. Spam them while they're hot. And even pe and even people like you, people who avoid the murder stories will see them. That brings money, and like I said, money's good. Huh, I guess he has a point. What about the opinion columns? Aren't those a good source of traffic too? Oh, I hate those brats. They just they just write about how they're better than everyone else. They might also write about how everyone that likes a certain something should be so, 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 sodomized. The worst part, the worst part about that is that they know half of our clips clicks come from them. So they get all the diva likes on my ass. They get all diva like on my ass. I need to learn how to read. I think you're being too harsh. What about... No, wait. I was thinking of another newspaper. Yeah, the columns on your page are annoying. See? The kid on the restaurant critique... The kid on the restaurant critique column... Um... Uh... Shit. Forgot that brat's name. Restaurant? I believe that's... That kid. Couldn't care less about his name. Anyway... His column is the least visited of the bunch. He gets less hits than the obituaries. However, he still insists that I keep paying for his adventures to outrageous restaurants. I wouldn't have any problems with that if he actually wrote about half of the places he visits. How so? He rarely writes about the places the newspaper sends him to. I've only heard... I've even heard he tries to get free meals by proclaiming that he's a food critic. Poor bastards only gets laughed when he says that. I do remember some guy coming here asking for free drink and saying he was a critic or whatever. Do you look like a fat child with a really small face? No. Wasn't this one then. Anyway. All this talk made me thirsty. Try to give me another beers. Try to give me a beer this time, please. Coming right up. Beer again. This man likes his beers. They come cheaper in bulk at the store, though. Uh, B. Well. Uh, let's do double because I love this guy. So, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mix. There you go. Ah, it's the big things that make life worthwhile. 
What about big troubles? Did I stutter, kid? Right. <laughs> so tell me, do you see many celebrities in this hellhole? Please stop referring to this place as a hellhole. The place smells like soap and dog piss. I'm whipping. <laughs> I'm whipping constitu constitutional rights to call this a hellhole. I'm doing my best here, thank you very much. Who was that? Nobody important. Hey, I heard that. <laughs> Don't be offended by what I say, kid. I'm insulting the building, not you. You can think of it as a small hole in hell rather than a hellish hole if you like. Charming. So, celebrities. Not really. At least, not that I know of. Why? Well, to begin with, you have a serious VIP as a client. I don't see you losing your shit. You're not making me feel special, honey. And second, because I'm always up for gossip regarding famous people. Famous people. Especially the red, carp uh, red carpet kind of people kind of famous those folks oh my fucking god those folks people pretend to love but actually want to see fall from grace pretend to love fall from grace why do you think that gossip about famous people always sells people pretend that they love celebs but what they really want is to see their idols torn down to their level they want to see them suffer to get their Com commupence for daring to be so much more successful than them. Nah, I think gossip is just something everyone enjoys, but no one wants to admit to enjoying. You thought wrong, but even if you were right, it wouldn't change the fact that people love that kind of stuff. They want to escape their lives by living somebody else's. Sadly, I failed to see the appeal in that whole thing. What do I care if this guy I saw in some random movie was wearing socks with two s with, was wearing socks with sandals, or if they're dating God knows who? You'd be surprised. Granted, socks with sandals is practically a public indecency, but still. Oh please, as a bartender, I bet you have a strong. Voyeuristic streak. Your kind always loves to hear that stuff. Just like hairdressers. This sounds hypocritical coming from you. <laughs> Even if that's the case, I don't sensationalize what people do. I don't make it more than that person you know from TV acts like a human. Sensationalize is the key word here. Just the other day, I saw this comedy judging, this comedy judge bitching over what some girl was wearing to the store. No matter what you say, those people don't exist solely to entertain the public. But this problem exists because uh, they're the ones constantly cultivating the idea that they're perfect and untouchable. Going to exotic locales, dressing in elegant ways. Indulging in every luxury they can think of. All that just leaves the public craving for those little moments when they can make a mistake when they can make a mistake and fall to their level. Can't say that's a lie, but sometimes the crowd just wants to see their human. Hey, that hey, that dude that plays the nice guy is indeed a really nice guy. To be fair, the go gossip articles don't help sensationalizing everything. It feels like they're instigating a behavior that shouldn't even be acknowledged in the first place. You like your big words, huh, brat? Yeah, a little too much. Well, to complete that game of... Hmm. Hey, you're a bartender, right? No, I'm a lab brat hellbent on world conquest. Is that a pink and the brain re reference? Sarcasm wastes my time, honey. Oh wait, 
Sarcasm wastes my time, my money, and your energy. Refrain from using it. Anyway, I just realized that a bartender like you must have heard quite a few stories in her career. Talk about changing topics. Maybe. Why? Just thought I'd finish my tea. Wouldn't you like a column talking about those? I bet they would sell quite well. It would be like that priest who published confessionary stories and then got them excommunicated and lynched. People usually tell me all this stuff because they know I'm just a simple bartender. A personal stranger of sorts. We could have you ghostwriting half of our stuff, too. We could have you ghostwriting half of our staff do that. They do? Oh wait, they, we could have you ghost. Oh, it made sense, I'm just stupid. You don't really think Lana Smithy is just one person, do you? Figures. Anyway. Eventually, the people from the stories would know it's them and blame me. Not only would that hurt us as a business, it would hurt me. I really like hearing clients rant about their lives. Oh, and it would hurt the clients too, I guess. Well, if you ever retired, that offer is waiting for you. Yeah, like you'll remember me two weeks from now. Sure. Do you want another drink, Mr. Donovan? Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Did I say something wrong? Not at all. I just really like the sound of that. Mr. Donovan. Mr. Donovan. Is it really that special? At work, everyone calls me Mr. Dawson or Boss. Boss is just a title. It's too impersonal and cold. It is? Mr. Dawson was my father and my grandfather. It's too general. But Mr. Donovan, now that's more like it. They're referring to me, to the man in front of them, not to my family, not to my position as boss, to me. Do you want your employees to get personal with you, Mr. Donovan? Oh, gods no, but I want them to fear me. Not because I'm their boss, or the name appearing in their paychecks, but rather because I strike mortal dread into them. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to make everyone call me that. Oh yeah, you were asking some- Oh yeah, you were asking something, what was it? Drink another one, do you? Ah, yes, yes. You know what? Third time's the charm, give me a beer. Alright. Third time's the charm, for what? Anyway, better get him that beer. Beer. Boom. Actually, two. Again, we'll make it... We'll make it large just for him. One, two. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One beer. Cheers, hoping I don't pass out. Cheers. Enjoy. Say, kid, does this bar have any investors? He didn't call it a hell whore? A hell hole? There was some bloke named Sven that wanted to give us money if we stamped his face all over the place. But aside from that, no. These bars are pretty much like any fast food chain, so there are no local investors. Why? Just wanted to let you know... How lucky you bastards are. Investors suck harder than my first my, 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 uh, investors suck harder than my first wife's mouth. Those bastards think they're so important because they put they put their money in their company. Well that's I mean you give me money so I can make more. 
Let me do my thing and I'll give you your money. But no, they have to stick their nose and start changing the silliest of stuff. What good is it to be the boss if you still have to work for someone else? You still have to answer to unions, the government, and those kinds of organizations, don't you? Also, yeah, but that's paperwork. I make somebody else do that, do it, and call it a day. These losers, these losers ask for meetings. They start talking about stuff they don't like, stuff they found offensive. And there's always that one guy or gal that says, Hey, why don't you do what that other newspaper does? Recently, they told me that they needed more clicks. More clicks? I make sure to keep stuff spicy while still keeping production quality up. But it's never enough for them. Well, you know what? They want more clicks? I'll give them more clicks. I'll show them what happens when I do what they want and don't reject ideas. They'll know who the hell Donovan D. Dawson is. Should I be worried? Nah. At least he paid before storming off. I wonder what happened with Van though. He never- we never heard from him again. Jill! Yes? What the hell happened in that bathroom? <laughs> that kind of mess usually requires you to have thumbs. <laughs> Crafty dogs, I tell you. You'd think their short legs would hinder them. The ceiling. The sinks. The toilets. The beds. <laughs> You'll wake up Briar Rose over there. I won't forget this. <laughs> oh my god, I love this game. Yeah, yeah. Oh, a client. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get? What can I... Big gut punch. Fast. Alright. I want a gut punch. I want to give him a gut punch, alright. Uh, a big gut punch. Okay. So it's... 10 of these, so full. Uh, then two of these. And I'll just get you drunk as shit. Oh wait, all aged and mixed. Okay, so... Age. You know what? Ooh, Karma trying to be... Because... Oh, okay, I can't do... I can't do full, but it's fine. Gut punch. Uh, all aged and mixed. Okay. Here. Hmm. You can actually do it then. Hmm. This crack house is a bar. Hellhole crack house. It smells like dog urine and soap. How the hell do you expect someone to feel comfortable in here? I'm surprised you decided to come to our little crack house at all, mister. What the hell do you care? The payment registry says. Sorry for the question then, Mr. Ingram McDowell. Sorry about the smell, we're working on fixing it. There was an incident over the weekend. But it's Tuesday. Please, let me know what I can do to make your experience more pleasant regardless. <laughs> if I pay you, will you come with me to a motel for a couple of hours? No. Then I have no use for you, <laughs> then I have no use for you beyond giving me drinks. Such pleasant clientele tonight. May I ask why you decided to come to our bar then? Somebody recommended me this place and I have absolutely no idea why she likes it. She says she's a regular here and all. I'm starting to doubt her tastes. A regular? Can I ask who? No. 
I'll concede one thing. Whoever picks the music at least has decent taste. Hey, Jill. Where'd you put the dish soap? Jill's run out. Below the sink where it's always been. Right. Oh, a customer. Good evening, sir. Hope you enjoy your stay at Valhalla. So, any other feedback you want to provide the establishment so we can enhance your customer experience? No, nothing. That's an interesting change of heart. I can't afford to slander this place knowing she's here. You know my boss? I don't know her, but I know who she is. Dana Zane, the Red Comet. The woman who fended off Maul Riot... Fended off Maul Rioters all by herself. Knocking, knocking them out cold one by one. That's an achievement. A title I'll never... Fuck's sake. That's an achievement and a title I've never heard before. I know Boss did quite a few things before opening this bar, but that sounds... Would you happen to know how she got her me mechanical arm? I heard a couple of stories, but they sound too fantastical to be true. You've had an interesting change of attitude. I saw that woman take out armed rioters with her bare hands. Once you see something like that, it's hard It's hard not to keep your mouth shut in front of them. Interesting. You can relax. You can relax though, I've only seen her deal with clients personally about two or three times. One involved class 5 weaponry, the other time... The other one was a pickup artist. And the latest had an alpaca. An alpaca? Not really an alpaca, but there's this woman that owns a textile company. She got really drunk and uh, she started screaming she was an alpaca. She started spitting on everything afterwards. My boss had to show her the exit. I'd rather not remember that night, so let's have it at that. So let's leave it at that. Can I get you anything else? Give me a power driver, please. Please? There's a, there's a word I haven't heard today. <laughs> Coming right up. He wants pile driver. I honestly feel like suplexing him, though. Mm. Pile driver. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, okay. I need to remember about the ice and the aging, but I don't think that's gonna be all that prevalent here. Here. Hmm, it's fine, I guess. Hey lady, have you ever faked an orgasm? I'm sorry, I think I heard wrong. I asked if you ever faked an orgasm. That's a question I'm not gonna answer. I'll take that as a yes. I was just thinking about how good a lie can, how good a lie can be. I mean, even the most sincere of people lie once in a while. Lies can buy you time, lies can make you happy. Reality will come crashing through the door eventually. For that moment, the lie can give meaning to you. I say lies are like your porn stash. You know they exist. But you shouldn't acknowledge them. Oh my god. Does that mean you really faked orgasms? Because you look like you have a lot of experience. So that's quite the random thought to just suddenly have. 
Are you perhaps lying about something right now? Not really, I was just thinking about people making polite comments about this crack house. <sighs> of course you were. Hey, I'm gonna need another drink here. Already? Don't you think you're drinking a bit quickly? That's my problem, not yours. Give me a fringe weaver. Alright. Alright, let's give him a fringe weaver. Oh my god. It's literally just alcohol. <laughs> like, it's... Um... All aged and mixed, okay. Fringe Weaver, serve. Try not to drink it too fast. That's up to me. Hey lady, have you ever felt empty? Oh, all the time. All the goddamn time. Empty? How? Like, hungry? No, I mean empty like there's a part of you missing. Oh yeah, like, yeah, all, ev every day. Um, I can't say I particularly have. I just feel like there's this part of myself that lacks something. An urge to get or do something I just can't satisfy. Have you tried taking up a hobby? It might not solve your problems, but it might keep you busy enough to avoid thinking of uh, thinking about it. Any suggestions? Well, collecting stuff, reading, bungee jumping, combat sports, exercising. Sounds a lot cheaper than the alternatives. Which is? Bitches and alcohol. I tried sex tourism once. It was like a bloody Russian roulette of STDs, so I left midway through. Uh, I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring Yeah, I once burned my Christmas bonus hiring three women for an orgy Porn is more amusing and way cheaper I've also hired a girl to act like my daughter for a day For three years in a row now Nothing seems to do it um, have you tried rescuing a puppy? <laughs> oh. oh, I love that. You can't fuck puppies. At least you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm drawing a blank then. Can't think of anything that might help. <laughs> <laughs> Love this game already. I wasn't expecting you to help me or to believe me. Eh? I could have been lying through my teeth this whole time. People lie, lady. Anyway, I'm leaving now. This smell is killing me. Please come again. Don't count on it. Good. Phew. Boss, I'm gonna take a break. Alright. You know what? Should I use these as an excuse to take a break myself? Alright, you know what? Sure. Let's save the game. Cool. And I'm gonna take a break. This is this is this is my break excuse. Wee! I'm gonna make a, like a toast, like a sandwich probably. Just cause. I'm just gonna make a toast, like, I'm just gonna make, like, just a sandwich, which is the only food I have, really. And then I'll probably just go back to playing this game while eating, because... Oh, wait, I just realized I am not playing one shot. 
Oh my god, I had that the whole time. Okay, um... How the hell do I... Val... Actually, I should probably have it, like, all caps, like... Uh, how's this game called? Uh... Yeah, like, okay. Uh... Like this. And it's not showing on screen. There we go. Alright. Alright, now I'm gonna take a break.
Karatam, I'm back. I am back for your viewing displeasure. Uh, wait a minute. Um, hold on. Let me grab my phone. I just realized I don't have it on me. Okay. All right. Let's play some more of a god that that first chapter though fuck or that first day was god that was good okay and I'm getting cozy with a sandwich because that's really all I have <laughs> I don't even have a drink I should have made tea now that I think about it I'm stupid oh well All right, it's now safe to keep playing. Cool. At least I didn't get locked up this time. Hmm. Hmm? Yeah, fuck it. Okay then, back in action. Good evening. Good ev- Um... Would you mind taking your helmet off? <gasps> oh? Sorry, it's so comfortable, I usually forget I have it on. Is this better? Yeah, thank you. What can I get you, miss? Master Specialist. Say P. Asagiri of the 765th Division Valkyrie Corps at your service. Wait, that's too long. Just call me Say. What can I get for you, Say? Let's see. I'm in the mood for a sweet drink. Oh, but not sweet as in cool. Although a cool drink would be nice too, um, but not cool as in grey and especially not as in big. More so since I have to get up early tomorrow I, and I can't afford to be hungover. So um, did you get that? A sweet drink, preferably co a cold one. That's not too big, right? Yeah, that's it. I can do that. Give me a sec. Hmm. Hmm. Sweet drinks. Oh, there's a sugar rush, technically. Sugar rush is pretty small, right? And this doesn't technically count to the the how big a drink is, so <laughs> serve here. Oh, wait. Um, I expected something with ice, but this is good enough. Oh, right, ice. We don't get many white knights as clients. I can only remember one other, in fact. You said you're from the Valkyrie Corps, right? Are you the guys who deal with riots and such? Riots? Oh, no, no, no. You're thinking of the Blitzkrieg Corps. The ones with huge plated suits, right? Yeah, it does. Mm. 
No, we're different people. I mean, obviously we're different people, but we don't deal with riots or anything. Hmm. In fact, you could say we deal with their aftermath. How so? To rescue, heal, and protect, we are the angels who soothe those suffering enemy attacks. We are the light of hope in the darkest of times. The ones who's, who assist the victims of crime. We watch, we watch, we protect. Um, what was that? Sorry, it's sort of our pledge of a lot of allegiance. We recite it every morning. What it means is that our duties mostly include rescuing civilians, healing the injured, and protecting them from stuff. What kind of stuff? Burglars, rapists, car crashes, anything that might happen on our watch. You might mention heal. Are you a doctor then? Oh, you mentioned heal. Are you a doctor then? Nah, I know many doctors, but I'm not one. I'm more of a paramedic. I treat people so they can arrive safely at a doctor. I'm also kind of like a refri uh, a firefighter. I almost I almost read refrigerator. I don't know. I don't know how I almost read. I'm also kind of like a refrigerator. I, I I I I am speechless for myself. I'm also kind of like a firefighter in that. I sometimes rescue people from places. Damn. That must be a tough job. Sort of, but it's also really rewarding. I mean, I have yet to meet anybody that isn't glad to see me when I arrive. You must have you must have seen some shocking sights. Yeah. This one time when I was saving some people from the top of a collapsing building, I looked down and was blown away by uh, how pretty the city was. It was like a starry sky on earth. Oh, and there was this time uh, we were cleaning up the aftermath of a car crash. Water was pouring out of a, of a hydrant. With the lights and scattered pieces of glass, it was almost like it was almost dreamlike. That's not what I meant by shocking sights. No? But those are sights, and they're shocking, right? Yeah, but never mind. Wait, did I miss here and you actually s said... And you actually meant size? I mean, sure. I've suffered the deepest, longest, and most frustrated sighs from people after everything's said and done, but... Don't worry, you didn't miss here. I guess I was just expecting a different kind of answer. What kind of answer? Don't worry too much about it. Mm. You finished your drink. Can I get you anything else? Hmm. Something classy. A classy drink. Can you be more specific? Don't make it too big. Does that work? Sorry, I don't come to bars very often. My drinks usually come in a can. No problem. Don't worry. A classy drink, right? Let's see what I can find for you. Hmm. Classic. Oh, classy drink. What's the difference between classic and classy? Hmm. Hmm. Bad touch. Brantini. You know what? Bad touch. Add some ice, because I forgot it last time. And not big. And for Karma Trine. Mix. Here you are. Yep, this looks like something Stella would drink. Who? She's my dearest friend. Not that I don't have it, others. 
But she's the one I've known the longest. She likes these kinds of drinks, so I wanted to see what's so special about them. And what do you think? I was expecting something stronger. I like it quite a bit. Say, Miss Bartender, what's your name? Hmm? You know, you know my name. No one will know yours. Oh, sure. Just call me Jill. Jill, hmm? Jill. Jill is for... It, uh, Jill is short for Jillian. No, that's not right. Jillian... Ju... Julianne? Do not call me Julianne, please. Ah, <sighs> sorry about that. No, please excuse me. I didn't want to anger you. Um... But why don't you like being called by your full name? It's a stupid reason. Don't dwell too much on that. Oh, okay. I still feel bad about angering you, though. Why? Because you look like a nice girl, Jill. And I don't like angering nice people. If it helps somehow, I really like this place. That actually helps. You're the first person to say something nice today. Thanks. What do you like about it? <laughs> God damn it, Slay. The smell of dog urine and soap. My mom used to be a veterinarian, and I used to go to her clinic after school, so the smell takes me back. It makes me feel comfy and nostalgic. Um. <laughs> What made you become a white knight instead of a veterinarian, or anything else? Well, I was never a good student, so studying medicine of any kind was out of the question. That aside, it's mostly because of something that happened while I was a kid. A white knight attacked my friend and was coming for me when this other white knight saved us. I don't remember what happened next, I just woke up in a hospital with my friend watching over me. I mean... It wasn't a prophetic moment or anything like that. But ever since then, I felt this was my calling. That I wanted to help people the same way they helped me. Uh, it's interesting though. One would think being attacked by a white knight would make you run the opposite direction. Yeah, but it was another one that saved me. So, I kind of guide myself towards judging everything on an individual basis. Let me finish the sandwich, it's been in my hand for a while. Hmm. Well. Hold on, this music's fire though, hold on. Well, not to an extreme ex extent, but you get me. Yeah, I try to do the same too. Why join the Valkyrie Corps specifically though? Because I wanted to rescue people from dire situations whenever possible. And going into patrols and all that felt too tiresome. It's also the one with the late with the least paperwork involved. Now that I think about it, there are different kinds of white knights, right? I guess white knight is too broad of a term. There's not one specific type. There are many classes, rescue, assault. There's even a squad full of bird. Mm. Damn, the music is fire though, hold up. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm.
Yeah, they get assigned to companies to handle the accounting and that kind of stuff. People usually ask for them because they speed up the process. But a few are assigned when a company is suspected of having weird under the table deals. Interesting. There was also a squad dedicated to fighting and school bullying. They were doing a nice job, but the fad of anti-bullying campaigns passed and they lost their funding. I believe some members still work with anti-bullying cases in an unofficial capacity. That'd be nice, I think. Can I get you anything else? I don't know if I should. Can't afford that many drinks, and besides, I don't really know how much alcohol I can handle. Yeah, I can see that. Yep. I'm going to stop here today. Thanks for the chat, Jill. Sure, no problem. Bye. Come again. Will do. Wait, you forgot your helmet. She's gone. Whoa. Jill, did the ammonia make you go nuts? There was this time in Zanzibar when that almost happened. In any case, I'll go check that noise. What? Oh, she woke up. Where am I? Where am I? Good evening and welcome to Valhalla. That might not have been the best thing to say. Valhalla? Am I dead? <laughs> Does that mean that Uncle Ingus rambling about the afterlife looking like a shoddy downtown bar are true? Called it. Afterlife? I'm not dead? As far as I can tell, no. To be fair, I don't know how death or the afterlife wor work exactly, but you're breathing, right? Alright, then... Where the hell am I? How did I get here? Who brought me here? What were you planning to do with me? Are you organ traffic traffickers? Robbers? Rapists? Pickpockets? You're pickpockets, aren't you? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm waiting for you to vent your worries, otherwise you'll just... You're rapists, aren't you? Rapists! The whole lot of you! You want to tear my clothes, beat me unconscious, have your horrible way with me, and then brutally murder me, don't you? Oh, while still viol violating every hole in my body as I lay there twitching, don't you? Murder, 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 murder. Interrupt me. Well, this is going nowhere. Let's see if I can get a drink to calm her down. Or throw it out of her face. Think carefully, Jill. Give her something that will calm her down. Hmm. What if I give her a bottle drink? A fedora? <laughs> Every drink here is priced at $500. Oh my fucking god. Girly drink, manly drink. Promo drink. Make girly drinks? Sugar Rush. Sparkle Star. Um, maybe a sugar rush with no karma train, train. Or, actually, no, something else. Or maybe sweet drinks. Or bubbly drinks. Hmm. It's a blue fairy. Why not? Four of these. In fact, you know what? Let's make it big. Why not? 
Uh, six, seven, eight. One, two. And we won't have, but we won't have any alcohol. Wait, I fucked it up. Um, all aged and mixed. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. There we go. Blue fairy. What is that? A drink. You're in a bar. Bar serve drinks. A bar? So I figured I should give you something to help you calm down. Don't worry. It's on the house. To calm down? What did you do? Spice it with... What did you spice it with? Roofies? TTX? Pumpkins? God no. I wouldn't even think of it. You're... Your stuttering makes you suspicious, you know? If I ever added anything like that to your drink, they'd dock my pay in tips. Not to mention, I'd have to pay any lawsuits myself. And that's the best case scenario, I could get fired and lose benefits or go to jail. And trust me, the BTC loves to catch anyone who commits that particular felony. They'd show themselves all proud for their- for a hefty PR boost. And the thought of going through all that is just... Brrrr. Even if you say that... Let's do something. If you go outside and head just three businesses to the left, you'll find a convenience store. They sell drug tests for drinks. Tell the cashier that Dana Zane sent you. Hmm. Two flying cars crashed and went boom. That's why it was so noisy. Any damage? A hole in the street. Don't know about the drivers or anything. I see. Either way, I think I'm done here. Did you check the inside? Did you check inside the toilet paper's locker? What about- Oh my god. How? Why? <laughs> How? I'm back. You tried to give me bandages at first though. Did you have to pay? No. No problem then. Try it on the drink. Says negative. There you go. But you could be in cahoots with the clerk in the store. He even knew your name. Good point. But first of all, it's not my name. It's my boss's. Second, we are pretty much part of a chain. Sort of like a spicy chicken of bars. And finally, I'm not making you drink this. I offered it to you as a sign of peace. I mean, you are right. It is indeed suspicious on my part. Sorry. You can just ignore the drink, go through that door, and forget this ever happened. That would be it. You're at peace and nothing of value would be lost. Are you implying something won't have value because I ignored it? Are you saying my presence is so unimportant that my lack of action will yield no difference? Eh? And what about the drink? Are you gonna let this fruit of your work go to waste so easily? No, I... Well, I'll let you know I'm not that unimportant. And that your work does matter. Um, not sure you should drink it all so fast. So, how was it? It was good, I guess. It'll help me calm down a bit, I think. Are you alright? Yeah, I guess you were telling the truth. Sorry about that.
No problem. If I were you, I'd probably react the same way. I should apologize for my last comment too. It came out as insensitive. I guess I'll stay for a while. I need to get my thoughts in order. Can you tell me how I got here? My boss found you unconscious and brought you here for safekeeping. And you were also asleep until that car crash outside. I, I see. I guess it's better to wake up here than on the streets stripped in clothes. Stripped of clothes, dignity, and or organs. How did you fall unconscious? Were you tired? Sick? I guess I'm sick, but I'd rather not talk about it. Of course. I'll tell you what. Your drinks are on the house tonight. You already said they were. Why would you do that? Consider it as an apology on my behalf. On, on behalf of everyone here for all the trouble we've, we've caused you. Also, something tells me you might need another drink right now. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Okay, then. I'll take you on your offer. I have a piano, man. You'd be fine. Yeah, I just got the last one, so I want to enjoy... Coming right up, then. Something for a piano, man. Please. Don't see women asking for piano, man, every day. Okay, so... Piano man. Uh, five of these. And one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. On the rocks. And mixed. Cool. Here. Yeah, this is the one. My dad used to drink these before an actual pianist attempted to kill him. What did he do? Your dad, I mean, to provoke the pianist just like that. Wrong place at the wrong time, I guess. He was relaxing in a bar when suddenly the pianist leapt off the stage and started punching him. Some say he was off his meds and that my dad looked like some music critic that had banished him. I still hold my stance that he just got too excited. Jess does that to you. I see. The Piano Man has an interesting story. It was originally created by a bartender in honor of a pianist friend of his that had just died. Apparently it mixes all the flavors said Bren liked the most. Oh, that's nice. So this is what it feels to go for a drink at the end of a long hard day at work. I'm not sure if I like the fact that I'm falling into that. More unit. Where do you work, miss? Come in, Kim. I don't know if I can say I work yet, though I'm still just an intern. Can I ask where? Have you heard of a newspaper called The Argumented Eye? I read it every morning. In fact, Donovan D. Dawson was here earlier. I knew I smelled his nasty cologne. That bastard leaves his reek wherever he goes. So you believe me? I do. God, you have no idea how much I hate that chauvinistic horse blower. Uh -huh. Harsh words. The worst part is that I kind of admire the way he does stuff. He's so forceful. He's so forceful about the things he wants that people have it 
done before they realize what's going on. He even got a pizza delivery boy to work ser server maintenance. A full week passed before the pizza shop asked where the hell he was. And would you believe it, the guy became a dec became decent at server maintenance despite having no previ previous experience? It's kind of admirable, but at the same time, I hate his guts. Ugh. Knowing that, I have to work for him. Well, knowing that I have to work for him, it's... Ugh. Why are you working there then? Yeah, something I shouldn't have? No, don't fret about it. I'd rather not talk about it though. Fair enough. What's your name, bartender? Call me Joe. Is it hard to be a bartender, Joe? I guess it's as hard as being a cook somewhere. Keep going through the motions while trying to provide something of quality. All while answering the whimsy of, of of people's orders. I think the hardest part is dealing with the chemical hazards some people might leave behind. Why? At some point, I thought about being a bartender. But I was afraid they'd make me wear skimpy clothes and dance or something. Here we go again. Well, it depends on where you start working, you know? I guess I was lucky Valhalla didn't end up being a tacky disco overseen by a, a, D, a DJ with an afro. My boss just wanted a comfy place, I think. Your boss sounds like an interesting person. Uh... What with wanting... To put me somewhere... What with wanting to... Put me somewhere safe and all that. Is that correct? I, I have no idea. She is. She's so cool and collected. She has no qualms about showing excitement about stuff. Sure, she's been a bit tense the last couple of days. But even then, when you're with her, everything just feels under control. She also has this mechanical arm. I have no idea how she got it, but... Heh. Sorry. I got carried away. It was fun to see you break the wise bartender character you're using here. I do that? It'd be nice to meet this boss of yours sometime and thank her. Shall I call her? She'd be glad to know you're okay. Oh no, I shouldn't pester her that way. And besides, it's getting late and I don't want to abuse your generosity. You can ask for another one, although I don't know how much alcohol you can handle. I think I can handle another drink. One brand... One brand teeny, please. Coming right up. She wants a brand... Sorry, a... A brand teeny, yeah, that. Um... Brand teeny, okay. Six of these. Three of these. Three. One of these. Aged. And mixed. There we go. Here. Yep. This seems like the stuff. Cheers. Hey Jill. Was this job like a lifelong dream or something? Not really, it just kind of happened. One thing led to another and BAM! Bartendering. Do you regret not fulfilling a dream? 
The only dream I can remember being passionate about was buying a Model Warrior Julian arcade machine. I can't say I've given up on that one yet, but alas, adult stuff needs to be paid for. It needs to be paid for first. You've never had a dream you wanted to chase? Not really. I mean, most of my dreams have been silly things or childish dreams. Childish dreams? Having a room where every piece of furniture talks. Being a model warrior. Oh, childish dreams, yeah. There's just no- <laughs> There's just a blank text box here. Okay. We're just gonna count that as like awkward silence. Just like... You no, know, me eating my sandwich. Might as well just... In fact, you know what? Mm. Mm hmm. No more eating. Um, I remember I wanted to live in a koi pond when I was seven. The f the fish seemed to be having a blast to me. So no dreams. None that I felt particularly motivated to chase, no. I mean, I'm fascinated by AIs, but I just couldn't find it in me to study that. God, Jill is like, basically me. <laughs> Jill is like, literally me, but female. Like, I, ha I have no dreams whatsoever. So I picked something I found nice and moved on. And somewhere along the way, I became a bartender. I should do that sometime. Just find a bar, just bartend, just be a bartender and, you know, just chill there sometime. And, you know, just chill, serve drinks. That seems nice. Probably won't pay well, but eh, it's fine. I see. Finally! Those dogs left a mess I'm not gonna forget anytime soon. I mean, how the hell did they throw toilet paper out the window? <laughs> oh, a client. Good night. Good night, ma'am. Joe, I'm gonna leave early. I need to take care of the smell clinging to my body. Sure. Um, who was he? A ghost that nobody should worry about. <laughs> oh. I heard that. Why were you asking all those questions? Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. Hey again, how you doing? Long time no see, yeah. It's been so long. How you doing? I'm surprisingly still holding up. Despite me being awake for 22 hours, I, I, I'm, I, I'm surprised that I'm not dying yet. The, the, the big word is yet, because I, I think, give it a couple of hours and I'll probably be on the floor. There, there, but thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. God fucking damn it. God damn it. God damn it, man. God damn it. I forgot it. Alright, well. Um, it's a good thing that this game isn't all that animated. Um. Well. Because now that I think about it, I don't really have a dream job or anything like that. I think we idealize the idea of a dream job too much. 
Not everyone walks around with a clear idea of what they want in life. Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. I also don't have a dream job, same. <laughs> yeah, dream jobs have always, well, just dreams in general, like, I've never really had. Yeah. Yeah, I remember like... I remember like, when I was a kid, right, and like, did, like some adults, like teachers or like, parents would like tell me would would ask me like oh what do you want to do when you grow up and i was just like i don't know anything really <laughs> and like that that's still my answer today i was uh, like when people ask me yeah so like do you have any like plans like for a job and i was like uh i don't know i've been i've been searching just what, how, what have you been searching like just anything really <laughs> i've been searching like everything possible when I was six years old, I tried my best to learn all the hobbies and skills uh, to a point I bored them. I was bored of most things. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm the opposite. I'm. I like know nothing about anything, but like I like, I won't really mind like doing pretty much anything. Uh. Now I just. Taking VTubing and cosplaying and stream, playing computer games, current hobbies. Yeah. I mean, VTubing is my hobby and I'm tired of that, so like... That's why like this stream is kind of trying to turn it more... I mean, with this with this stream, I'm trying to turn it more, um, more serious. Like, I'm trying to make it more into like a... I'm trying to turn VTubing to a more serious thing. Um, but, uh, <laughs> I mean, judging by how long I've been, I've been going and the fact that the sub count went up by zero, yeah, I, I, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I think graduation is next. <laughs> um, yeah. Some take a liking to a job, others find... Some taking a li- Oh my god, hold on. <laughs> Gotta stuff in those for a second. <clears throat> Some take a liking to a job, others find it after many failed attempts. And I need a drink, hold on, no, I actually... I'm actually- I- I'm fucked for some reason, hold on. Oh my god, wait, I had to unplug my... God fucking damn it, um... Yep, yeah, alright, um... Anyway... Sometimes life takes an unexpected turn that make you change your plans. What I mean is, don't worry too much about it. Maybe you're right. Well, I'm gonna take my leave now. Thanks for everything. Please thank your boss on my behalf. Bye. Thank you and come again. And that's it. Are we done for the night? Seems like it. Where's Jill? And where's the girl that was here? Jill cleaned the bathroom and left because he stank. Kim woke up 
Had a couple of drinks and left. So she's called Kim? How did she look to you? Was she... How was she? She was freaked out when she woke up, but she managed to calm down. Are you worried about her? Wouldn't you be? I don't know. Hey boss, do you feel like calling you boss is too impersonal? Hmm, not really, no. It's not like you to call me... It's not... It's not like you to call me that because I'm a stranger. Just out of habit. He is ready. We Let me go get it. Hold up. Oh, and Gan is back into the shithole. For some reason. Wait. Fuck. My tea, my tea cup is over here. But I'm supposed to pour the fucking water over there. I almost spilled my tea. I almost spilled it and I almost made a mess. I caught it last second. I am so good. Um, okay. Alright. Spill the tea? Yeah, almost. I almost. Also. Hold up. Music is fire, hold up. Oh. Anyway, you're free to go after you finish washing up the glasses. Let me transfer you today's payment. Maybe I'll give Jill a small bonus for dealing with the bathroom. Uh, here's an extra for helping they're helping that girl calm down. Hey, nice. I'll take it. Uh, you renew the seventeenth. Make sure your account is at least eight hundred by then. Joe is lost in thought about a uh, a hollow plant. Buying it will prevent her from getting too distracted. Can now browse danger you <laughs> now visit JC Alton's Okay Uh oh hold on lock okay well, let's see A the argument that I oh local uh local woman local hero Save for some reconsider. 
Well, maybe what does this say? It's on translate. Oh well. Dangerous opinions. Mickey concert two. Let's talk about Atlas Rabbit. Okay, so driving me wild is the good one. Good for health, bad for. Who was it? Who was I? Killing news. Kids that invited. Yeah, that that can work. Shop. Uh, cute clay houses. Maniki neko. Get a Mickey poster, cutesy game poster, sorted cartridges, cracked cracked Daruma, Alex figurine, movie poster. Oh my god, all of these cost like a fucking eyeball. Um, yeah, see ya. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. Damn it, Jill, you and your memberships. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Well, that's a sound you don't hear every day. But, boss, what are you doing with that helmet? I was just about to ask you where it is, where it came from. A white knight came yesterday. She left and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it. Uh, under the count. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who, who they belong to first? I don't pl I don't plan and evaluate every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway... As your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool. And comfortable. And cool. And... And... And really, really cool. Hello. It's strange that you're late, Jill. Yeah, the traffic was... Yeah! Don't run. You have work to do. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong? Chief. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. She's somehow relaxed now. Good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Hold on. I kind of want to reset the... Um... Restock the song. Drive me wild. Hmm. Wait. How do I reset all of these? Ah, there we go. Oh, so you can change the order. Okay. Oh, I see how it works. Okay.
have that here. Uh, Umemoto. What's Umemoto? Oh. Yeah, maybe not. All system go. This sounds like a Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Um, <laughs> and you know what? I don't even mind. Let's stir up a boss battle music. Hold on. Oh, it's right here. Sure. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Hey, Brett. You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Did I leave enough food for war at home? My name, uh, beer, right? A big one. He wants a big one, so double. Uh... Oh, wait, wait, this is four. And this is eight. Seven, eight. Uh, yep. There you go. There you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand... To hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. <laughs> I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here bless blessing your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How did you, how did that come out? Come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday I was uh, tuning the details of the interview. I'd have it for today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than do with a pack of competitive bitches. I see. That was the interview. Easy enough. The fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Uh, we've come a long way in the department of Lilim sex appeal, I tell ya. She was a Lilim then? Yes. One of those new fancy king class, uh, Chia models. I've heard uh, they're anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm? Hey you, the guy with a John face. <laughs> the guy with a John face. <laughs> huh? Me? What the hell is a John face? <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I, I've never been to Hong Kong. And I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. 
You look like the guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some kind of anarchist? Uh, do I look like some kind of anarchist hippie to you? Ten years ago, I tried to start a silicone, a, a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with, with some in, uh, investors when those damn riots broke out. Seriously though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have, no matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a... Uh, and the plan reached such a developed stage be because the media was in... in Instyling fear into the public. The general fear uh, that augmented people would become power hungry ma maniacs was a key factor in the plans, and everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests were. On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn out, uh, turn down the scholarship in Hong Kong because of all of that. Yeah, scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck. And I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. Someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks? Well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine, Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify because there are a lot of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, just saying, so just saying Chinese won't do. Uh, you might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it was the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal a deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Ahem, sure, on it. A strap of my bra is itching. <laughs> what did it want? A Mars Blast? Okay, um... Can I do a double? I don't think I can because it needs. Yeah, no, I don't think I can. All right. Um, a Mars Blast, all blended. Hmm. All right. So all blended, meaning that. There we go. Serve here. 
All right, I guess I'll believe your story. Right. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said, uh, if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good, fuck those sons of bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted, how they wanted unreasonable stuff, how they feel like they have more power than you do, and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that, but then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. And that, and, oh my god. And that and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in, what? Well, let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are right are always right, then you're wrong, unless I'm the client, that is. <laughs> I love this guy. He's so good. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about... Uh... About cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer moms crying about her feelings. Uh, excuse me. Uh, football. Okay. Anyway. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least one of them gets eaten by their damn namesake. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, Man, you just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have no you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kinda... Damn, look at that time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be uh, posted as soon as possible. The fact that we're... Posting it AFTER the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the last interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason she just didn't. I have a few. You know, I have a feeling it's, uh, it's Kim. <laughs> just, just a, just a thought. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. 
Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Pizza with double cheese and... Oh, wait, no. This is a bar. Flavor. Bitter drinks. Um, a suplex. That's not something I've made yet, so... One, two, three, four. Uh, also on the rocks. You know what? I'll make it double just for you. Then six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is perfect. Uh, think, right? Yeah, that, that is literally like the exact amount that I can have. Um, yeah. On the rocks and mixed. All right. Suplex. Serve. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate that poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid Jill. Jean Juler. J Julermo Hirohito. I can't remember his name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interview. I can't remember anyone for shit. But he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So, I don't know. I feel like I clock blocked him big. <laughs> I feel like I cock blocked him big time today by taking his gig away. Worst of all, I left him to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone, not even my worst enemies. Well, maybe two of them. You're sounding so considerate right now. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. And a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> what if it's your dad? <laughs> Did I start? <laughs> Is the best character ever. <laughs> Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see? That mean he'd be off work. And I need him to be at my back and call tonight. I've seen that brat talk to no end about her, so... I know. I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column. It's shit always. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um... Tiring. Hey, Jill, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep. I can't take the Alma off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie type white knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's proper. What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served the Valkyrie. In Valhalla. Shit. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see. Where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, will Chief be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha. You can always trust boss.
Yeah, let's hope you're right. Hey, honey. Can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and beacon. A screwdriver and bacon, and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy. Wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Um, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible? Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating around. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my con but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that make me invisible and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors, colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Hmm, sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does it have? What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost to the human eye. Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'd be an eerie sur... You'd be an eerie surrounding... Surroundings colored blob. And we Lilim see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Pizza with double cheese and... Wait, no, this is a bar. Piano woman. Uh, aged? I need to make sure of that one first. One, two, three... Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, and three. I'll age the mix, okay. P woman. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whether I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. 
But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know, hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did you do? Joe's been a complete mystery for uh, as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You'll hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when... About what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell is going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Didn't I tell any... Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. I wish she wearing a helmet. She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Oh yeah. Randomly putting on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as her... Um, a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way... It's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not... Kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretend pretending to be his daughter. Really? <laughs> there was starting to ring some bells. Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, I go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to... I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Oh shit. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. Hehehe. <laughs> moon force. One, two, three, four, five, six. And all in the rocks. And blended. And serve here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar 
drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory. Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once the DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Uh, some go for it, some don't. Will you go through with it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have, the, I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me half the time, it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over, every, every, over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Jill. Welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. <laughs> call me Jules and I'll make, I'll make sure every time you sit you'll hear the clink of your shaker. <laughs> Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day and I... Uh, the other day and today. I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Yay, honey. I have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she ma she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud, and one gut punch. Big sunshine cloud. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'll just make her fully drunk, even though I think that this doesn't really do anything. Uh, on the rocks and blend. Alright, sun cloud. Next is... Uh, a gut punch. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One. And fill it all with alcohol, baby. Uh, 
Uh, all aged and mixed. Okay. Serve. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something? Uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with update fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room uh, or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC 72 line leaves uh, tracking nanomachines in the other person? In the other person after, well. After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? <clears throat> yes. That's a semi myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. Uh, when we're being assaulted or the like, uh, when we're being assaulted or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC 72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night and bam, their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nano machines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going to leave you... Uh, I'm going... Uh, uh, honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever. And that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go take my... Jill! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming. Sorry, can you take care of him while I sleep while I help her uh hello Amia how you doing huh oh, new face I don't see I, I don't I don't tend to see those ever <laughs> new faces are rare in my chat <laughs> Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. <laughs> nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Jill's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Uh, can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast. M. Mars Blast. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2. All blended. 
Okay. There you go. Here. Bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. <laughs> You're not wrong. So you haven't been to war. Not an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? At first it was how professional assassins could be so polite and... Fun. Uh, first it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicions. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if it... If you just... Hmm? You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone to rogue. Just a rumor though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. <laughs> it's, always a pleasure. Yeah, it's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Yeah, I won't take a break this time. Do save. Okay. Boss should clean the kitchen buckets that she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Jukebox. Um, I'll start with this one. Uh, now I have this one be second. Sure. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. I'm fine, thanks. How did you get the helmets off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. How Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding their warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. I'll take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step in so into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? My workout was pretty good. I ran, jogged two miles. Ooh. All right, proactive. <laughs> I walk like two centimeters and that's in my own room. <laughs> it's 
Sorta, kinda, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. What can I get you? I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter. Sorry if that's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Let me see what I can get you. Okay, by type. Girly drinks, sugar rust, barbell stars, blah, 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 blah. Uh, flavor, bitter, gut punch. Uh, girly drinks, sugar, uh... So questions and technically multiple endurance streams because at some point you have to go to work or school, right? Um, <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, well, the thing is, well, it, it it is multiple endurance streams, yes, but it's not because of that, it's because at some point after, like, the 12-hour mark, uh, YouTube does not keep your VOD, like, it doesn't, it doesn't record anything past 12 hours, or technically it's 11.55, 11 hours, 55 minutes, uh, YouTube doesn't record anything past that. Um, uh, what and uh, work in school, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, work, work in school, yeah, um, right, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> sure. Um, hold on, what is this? Better drinks. Sun Grizzly Temple Is Sunshine Cloud also a girly drink? Yes it is. Okay, Sunshine Cloud. Um And I'll get her drunk to all hell. Just cause <laughs> I'm following in Char's footsteps. Captain Char will be proud. On the rocks and blended. Okay. Try this. Yep. This'll do just fine. Thanks. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you... Uh... What brought... What, uh, what brought you by, miss? Um... I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrows um I know you're technically in Italy right but that's not your home country so you're not on a passport so you don't need reason to be there which would normally be work or school uh no I'm not uh I'm I'm not in Italy anymore I uh I moved at well no Italy is my home country actually but no I'm well, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I, I have, I have, a, I have residency in Italy. Um, but yeah, technically Italy is my own country. But no, I'm not in Italy anymore. I'm back in England now. Um, problem is right. Uh, you know, I've been done with school for a while, and work has been just a pain to find. I, I swear I've been searching literally everywhere and I couldn't find anything uh, so yeah I'm basically jobless right now so yeah I can basically afford to do like this endurance stream that lasts for like basically a year because I, I, I got nothing to do in my life um, well at least that's what I thought but apparently I have a meeting tomorrow so yeah, I'm gonna need to, like, the stream will have to be, like, will have to be, still, it, it still has to keep going, but I'm, I'm 
like it's gonna have to be muted there's gonna be like a brb screen it's, it's gonna be a mess <laughs> i did the same thing today technically because i like i got a phone call for the first time in who knows how long <laughs> but yeah I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your that, that yeah that will show you your dreams. I'm Kiramiki. So should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm just Kiramiki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, you say Miki, okay? Okay. Kira, Miki. No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira, Miki. Almost there. Kira, Miki. Kira, Miki. Kira, Miki. Kira. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Miki. That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira? Why is he here? <laughs> Everyone's just. The whole cast is showing up to say Miki. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we get it. Shut up. <laughs> and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> what the hell am I doing out here? <laughs> um, where were we, Jamie? R right, I was telling you. Wow, you're good. Thank you. <laughs> it's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Wait, you're the Lilim that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilim who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilim you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I decided to leave. I saw one of the concerts, uh, concerts posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I, I see. How big is the concert? Uh, we planned, we, we, blah, blah, blah. we planned for a bit over a hundred thousand people and sold out feast. So sold out fast. What the fuck? Uh, so we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I may not have had as many fans as other performance, por performers, but mine are very loyal and that's nice. Over a hundred thousand is not many. And what exactly is? Hold on, then... Based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Neat. Miss Miki, right? Don't you get it? Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Uh, hey, do you have anything soft? Soft? As in alcohol free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Soft? Let's see what I can get you. How does boss's hair stay like that? 
Uh, soft? I feel like your memory might be slightly off, but to be fair, I think it was only one or two times I used this account because of the timing. Yeah, I, I think... Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What? I mean, I, 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 I mean, yeah, my, my memory probably is off. I'm, I'm not even, <laughs> like, uh, wait, there isn't anything, like, soft. What is soft? Uh, I guess bubbly drinks? Um, hmm, frothy water? Oh, it's just one of each except for, for alcohol. Okay. This is actually really easy. All aged. Uh, and mixed. Alright, let's see if this is what they want. What about this? It isn't what I had in mind for soft. But it'll work just fine, thanks. Soft is a bit vague though. Yeah, cause soft drinks means like a like a well like like Coke. That's a soft drink. Like that's not something you well I guess some bars do do uh give Coke do sell Coke, but for the most part like you might want to go elsewhere for, for Coke. I don't know. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I wonder if Jill would like it though. Your name, girl? Oh, for Jill then. For Jill. Never lose your star for... Hiramiki. Oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. But yeah, I believe that my memory is off because I, I never remember anything. So, tell me more about this concert of yours. Well, we're promoting my new single. It's called Shine Spark. I say that, but people still look forward to my old single. The love is a drug. I'm worried I might become an, a one-note star, you know? <clears throat> Anyways, the tour is called Shining Star, and we've been traveling the whole continent. We sold out of tickets fast, so we decided to give... An encore concert after all others are done. Ah, nice. But I'm not gonna bore you with details you'll find in tomorrow's newspaper anyway. I got this awesome dress that uh, looks all cat like. My hairdresser. Uh, my hairdresser, Agnes. Came up with a hairstyle that makes me look like I have cat ears and all. What do cats have to do with stars? Nothing. I just like cats. My producer... Yeah, my producer suggested a bunny though. I see. You know, if I hadn't ended up on stage singing... I'd probably probably be the one planning the pyrotechnics when you enter the stage the sparks start start flying that's magical you know you never burn yourself with those fireworks i've heard ugly stories from other musicians no not yet i sing my no not yet i sing my hair once 
uh, singed my hair once, but I just went for something short for a bit. People seem to love it. I should go back to it sometime. Um, how do Lilim get longer hair? Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If anything goes as, if everything goes as planned, and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the fuck. I'd be depressed if they ask for your love is a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth the ridiculous price, you know? Do you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that s served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Let's see what I can find for you. Wait, what? If only I could remember that song's lyrics. Please tell me that uh, Sunshine Whatever the Fuck is Bitter. Yes, yeah, Sunshine Cloud, perfect. And... Ooh, alcohol. On the rocks. And bland. There it is. And serve. Try this. Yeah, this works. So, how is it? Could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up. Or something, so... Really nice, thanks. Hey, Jill. Have you ever lost your identity? I've lost my ID card... ID card a couple of times, yeah. No, I mean, your identity. Forgotten who you are. What's with the change in expression? N no, not really. I did. Eh? Oh. Hit the mic. Hiramiki is just an artist name. At first, it was hard for me to play the part, you know? But I gained so much satisfaction from the concerts that I decided to invest myself. And I overdid it. How so? I became so invested in the character that I forgot who I was. So that's that, that's basically like most VTubers. I don't know. I feel like I feel like I've basically become one with my model. <laughs> I feel like my new identity is like my model. So I don't know. Who was I before I became Kiramiki? What did I like? Where does Kir Where does Kiramiki end and I begin? I just don't know anymore. Sounds rough. <laughs> That's rough, buddy. What drove you to such a decision? The fact that I know I'm performing a noble duty. Uh, how? You have to deal with many stressful things in everyday life. Work, debt, sickness, insecurity, the black slime that comes out of sewers every full moon. You don't know what will await you every morning. If you don't know if you'll make it back to bed that night. When measured, 
the coins of life outweighs the pro the, the cons of life outweighs the pros people need something to cling to and for many i'm that thing you are uh hold on when i started streaming and posting i just decided that the character i would put on screen would be my mo be mostly my real character that way i can't screw up myself too much yeah <laughs> that that's yeah that's pretty much accurate to like what i did as well like i have a like i have a different name and face but like really i'm like just the same guy <laughs> i like i'm a real <laughs> Alright, uh, during my concerts, they stop being themselves for four hours. They're not a nurse, an office worker, or a store clerk, or a store clerk. For those four hours, they're just part of the mass that goes to see an idol. No religion, gender, or social class divides them. They're all at the same level. Damn. When not in concert, I try to give them songs that will cheer them up. That will make their lives worth living. When I see the people call my name for the, from the stage, I know they're thanking me. Thanking me for that single moment where they can be happy. That's what I love about the stadium. I'm down below while they're up high. If forgetting who I was before means that I can protect those smiles, so be it. I'll make that sacrifice as many, as many times as needed. Because I live for them. Because I know I can help them. Did she get drunk? This is getting kind of deep. Yeah, I feel like I may have exaggerated on the alcohol. <laughs> I, I, I may have put a bit too much alcohol. I don't think she was able to take it. <laughs> I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I am Kira Miki. And don't forget. And don't you ever forget that. Fan club to me. We ride to the stadium. She's just venting at this point? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> She's something else, huh? I suddenly feel the urge to ditch my shift and follow. <laughs> Do you think she's telling the truth? Give me a sec. According to this article, her real name is uh, Mikkel Kingston. Deployed about two years ago. She did a few variety shows with her jazz band, but went solo afterwards. What was all that talk then? She was drunk. And she was a very peculiar drunk. Okay, I, I exaggerated on the drinks. <laughs> I put too much alcohol in. Figures. So. Quite the motivational performer, though. No doubt. Boss, we're done. Alright. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey, boss. Does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why? That was my moniker during my wrestling days. You're... Huh? That's what they called me during uh, my time in the Grand Slam fi Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crushed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? That day I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? 
A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Oh, I see. Was it? Oh yeah, it was yesterday. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Jill. In any case, Jill's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave. So I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss. Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Oh, flawless service. Nice. I got a flawless service? That's what I'm talking about. In America, red generally means you go faster, especially. Oh, really? I actually didn't know that. Which sounds ironic. Which, yeah, sounds ironic coming from me, but. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what's this? Can I make you blog? What do I do to relax? Can I pet the cat? I can't. That's unfortunate. Wait, I have a shirt that says slut. That is funny. I bet that was like a gift from, um, from what's her name? What's her name? I forgot her name. The the lo the the kid. The not the kid. The the like lolly prostitute. Um. No. Let's just go to work again. I really like this game. Super chill, super like, just do whatever the fuck you want. Just read the dialogue, read the chat. Have a drink, even though I don't have any beers. Honestly, I might, I might get some beers tomorrow. Like, I might just order some online, because like... Like... I kind of, like... Come on. I mean, technically I still have time. Because online shops close in... 20 minutes, so if I have time... People associate Reddit being faster for some reason. It's a mental thing, honestly, probably never true, but people believe it. Like, apparently, the red crayon tastes the best, too, because it's red. Uh, I can see why red crayon would taste better, because I guess red is, like... You know, like, associated with, like, strawberries, cherries, like, things like that, right? I mean, crayons? You know, that, that doesn't really apply, but... I, I don't know. Didn't I... Wait, didn't I play... Yeah, I, I literally... I literally played Eve earlier, and... That literally... Didn't I... It, didn't Maria have a line that said, don't eat your crayons, they, st they taste bad? Like... <laughs> um, oh Should I just order some beers and just... Americans like red, blue. Is like red, blue is the second favorite color. I'm surprised blue is the second favorite color because I I thought like blue was like the universal favorite color for like most people. Go ahead, or if it's cheaper, put a BRB sign and go grab it. No, I'll probably just like order it like literally right now, like. Like I have the, like I have an app for it. That I can just order it from. It should still be open, right? Go 
Because I have a bottle opener that hasn't seen some action in a while. Alright, I'll get some... Wait. Okay, I'll get a Moretti and some Corona. Oh, the... And this alone costs 20 fucking pounds. Oh my god. But this alone. Okay, oh, sure. Just... Just, just, just do it. Just, just fucking do it. God damn it. 20... 22 pounds. Oh. My heart. Oh. Oh. Why am I such an addict? <laughs> Why am I such an addict? Alright. Cool. Uh, it's not cheap. If it's cheap, you would buy it more often. They make it, uh, make it worth your time. Yeah, I know. I know that's the reason, but like, I just don't want to believe that's the reason. <laughs> I never want that to be the reason. Uh, well, it's gonna come at midnight, which is pretty much like the time where I literally started the stream yesterday. All right. Anyway. Good evening. Oh, hi there. That... That is... That, that is... You ever played Catherine Full Body? That, that's... That's Catherine with a... With a K. No, with a... Is it with a K or with a C? That, that, that's Catherine. Hold on. Wait, 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 um, Catherine, uh, full body, yeah, 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 it's Catherine with a K, <laughs> this, this, like, hold, hold up, Well, fuck. Where'd the image go? Boy. Duck. What, what is this? Oh, that's BRB. Um. Why do I have two BRB? I'm not even gonna question it. Um. Actually, I used to drink the cheapest drinks possible. They were a dollar a can. Tasted like battery acid. Okay, I for some reason can't put the image of Catherine on OBS. And I am... I don't know why I can't. But you know what? That is fine. That is fine. A Google search of Catherine with a K will just... Will, will, will make it clear. God damn it. Damn it, OBS. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, battery at- oh god, I can imagine. I mean, actually no, I can't imagine, because I don't even know what battery acid tastes like. like. How the hell would that even... be? Okay. Anyway. I was expecting the bar to be different before opening hours, but I guess it's just the same tired thing. Alma? Ah, Leonidas. Gillian. Marcelo. I stumbled across her I stumbled across her on my way in and asked if she wanted to tag along. Tastes like you accidentally drank something for your car? Okay. <laughs>
I hope you don't mind. Sure, make yourself a home. Where's boss? She didn't put the helmet on again, did she? She went out for a bit. I don't know what for, but she'll be back. Alright. Alma, make yourself comfortable. While I prepare. Right, thanks. Uh, I'll keep it like this. This is like a boss battle is about to happen. Like, fucking hell. Time to mix drinks and change lives. What was that? Oh, just something they made me say back in instruction. It kind of stuck. Huh. I went to a school that made us stand up with our hands on our backs when someone came in. That habit didn't run off until high school or so. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Oh yeah, look at this. A glass with a signature. 2G... G... Uh... I'll assume it's either an autograph or an impromptu medicine recipe. That Kiramiki girl came here yesterday before her concert actually. Oh yeah, now I see her name here. You don't seem very surprised. I like B-Link more, actually. The stoic-looking duo, right? Yep, those. You're definitely right. That is Catherine with a K, yeah. <laughs> that, is, that is Catherine with a K in 2D. <laughs> Yep, those. Sigh. Seems you had a better day than mine yesterday. I had to break up with Damien. I see. Want a drink? You... Don't seem very surprised. The breaks, breakups happen like every single day. Like, I, I'm, I'm used to it at this point. Like... <laughs> Alma, we've known each other for what? A few months now? I'd be interested if those relationships of yours went further than a week or two. You say you broke up, but there's usually not enough time to foster something to break. It's more like the guy wasn't what I wanted, so I stopped flirting. You could pretend to be more interested, you know? Like my mom says, if I don't buy it, it's because I know the product. Speaking of buying, do you want a frame? A frame? Yeah. For all these pics you have of your boss. Uh, the ones filling your phone's memory. Some seem sneakily taken at that. Is that true? What do you care? How the hell did you find that out? So it is true. Shut up. I'm a hacker, remember? You shouldn't piss off a hacker. Aw, I really like this one of her sleeping in her in her office. I think I'll copy it. You. Hey. Can you make me a bad touch before we keep arguing? <laughs> sure. Uh, by name, a bad bitch. One, two. One, two. In fact, you know what? I'll make it extra large just because. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is so perfect on the rocks and mix a bad touch there you go this is one big but are you hitting on me you wish <laughs> i didn't even think of that <laughs> now that i think about it <laughs> one big bad touch 
So, who's Damien again? The one with the nice car. Sure, he's also the manager at the bank, but that car was what caught my eye. And what was wrong with him? Turns out, he was a... LARPer. LARP? Live action role playing, okay. Sounds more like the nickname of some heavy handed writer or a military organization. What did he role play as? Have you heard of the Woodstock Fairs? Those have, uh, those events where people barely dress, stink, roll in the mud and fuck in the open. Those are hippies, yeah. He frequents those, and it's something I'd rather not deal with at all. If I stayed with him, I'd eventually have to. I mean... I need to support my partner in what he does, but if it's something like that... You see? That's the problem right there. You say breaking up like you... Ha you say breaking up like you had something formal. But most of the time, you're still getting to know him. Think about it. Have you ended your longest lasting relationship for things like those? Okay, sorry for not using the right word or whatever. What? what, 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 what. <laughs> sorry for not using the right word or whatever. But I'm still sorely disappointed. And at least I'm trying to get some action. When was the last time you spent the night with someone else? Last night. Your cat doesn't count. A year ago. It was it was messy. See? I mean, I have no idea how you deal with that. If I were you, I would have pushed fuckboy over. <laughs> if I were you, I would have pushed fuckboy over there into a closet ages ago. Fuckboy? People have different needs, and fucking hell, I... I need a, an actual mouse. Yes, but don't you miss having the warmth of someone else at your side? Using them as a pillow, mixing your perfume with theirs. Putting your head on their chest, listening to them breathe as they pet your head. Dozing off, knowing they're there watching you, protecting you. Jill? Anything I can make anything I can make you to shut up and drink? I'll have you know that my uncle Juan taught me ventriloquism when I was twelve. Drinking won't stop me from talking or making tasteless puns for Aunt Rosa. Still, get me something weird, would you? Huh. Ventriloquism. Weird. A weird drink. Yeah, something different. Experimental. Uncommon. Let's see. Oh shit, I dozed off. Yeah, the <laughs> same. Same, Joe. Same. Um. You know what? Experimental? Here's my experiment. <laughs> Here's my experiment. And we shake it up real good. We we blend it. Don't even sh we don't even mix it. We blend it. Damn. Hey, if you wanted me to get experimental, well, there you go. I got experimental. Like, come on. You want me to get experimental? You're paying the consequences of that. Alright, let's do a Zen Star, because I actually never done that before. A Zen Star is four of each ingredient, all on the rocks and mixed. 
Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four. 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 Alright, so the Zen Star. Here. Yeah, this, fit, this fits the bill. It's a promotional drink made to com uh, commemorate a movie. Read. They leapt at the chance to sell drinks that would be un unmarketable otherwise. Oh. You know, your orders are weird today. They are? Yeah. Usually the first thing you ask for is a Brandini. And then something like a Cobalt Velvet or something similar. Well, I sometimes feel like I need something different, you know? Something tells me part of the reason you left this Damien is because he was too deep into routine. Maybe. Hey, speaking of routines, as a hacker, what's your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing? That's the silence of somebody who just heard something stupid. Stupid enough to warrant the speech they prepared just, to, just for occasions like these. As always, very perceptive of you. You know, decades ago, there was this group of people that hacked simple sites with an agenda. That's the fan. Oh my god, I thought, I thought something snapped for a second. Ten more minutes, ten to twenty-seven more minutes, and the beers should be here. Can't remember what they used to call themselves. I just remember that it was just uh, petty vandalism. Anyway, everyone that participated started using the same name. They wanted to create this anonymous anarchist identity. The whole Alice Rabbit thing is the logical conclusion of that. It's what happens when that idea reaches its breaking point and goes mainstream. It's no longer a group, but an individual. An untouchable entity, watching from the shadows, monitoring and judging everything anyone does. Observing, tolerating, Observing, tolerating no one but itself. A lot of bullshit for what's essentially a pet uh, the press made up. The antithesis, the antithesis of, your usual, of your usual boogeyman, if you must. So you don't think such a, pers such a person exists? Don't know, don't care. I mean... We have seen the actions of such an entity, but it might be anything, an individual, but it might be anything, an individual, a group, an AI. That's not taking into account all the copycats and pranksters using the name. So, Alice Rabbit is a thing that exists, but it's also really muddied overall. There's something else that worries me though. That kind of story always catches the attention of kids and such. They start trying to hack stuff without knowing the risks of, or consequences. Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. That's how it feels for me. It, and it's thanks to that damn Dallas Rabbit thing. I see. But, enough of that. There's a more pressing matter at hand. There is? Yeah, you've been delaying my invitation for hanging out sometime for too long. Oh, that. Do you hate me that ma- Yeah, do you hate me that much, Jill? Does my presence make you that uncomfortable? No, I- 
At this rate, I might just crash by your apartment. That way you can't just say no. Maybe I'll also crash for the night. We could have a sleepover, braid our hair, tell stories all night, shower together. You know you need some human warmth in that place. Your tits alone would fill my entire bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you react too nonchalantly. It's no fun. React a little bit. Let me tease you for a second. I refuse. In all seriousness, though, any particular reason you keep turning down my invitation? I mean, it's not a date. I just want to have a conversation with you outside these four walls. I'm not a morning person. I registered for a night shift precisely to avoid waking up early. Fair. The earliest I've asked you out is 10 a.m., you know? That's early morning by my standards. I mean, it's not that I don't want to hang out. I just don't want to wake up early. You are hopeless. Wait, is 10 a.m. not early morning for people? Because I, I swear that's like... I mean, maybe it's just me because I wake up at 5 p.m., but still, I feel like 10 a.m. should be early morning, right? Anyway, I'm going to need another drink here. Like, say, a big Brantini. Finally, that's the Alma I know. Shop of my bra is itching. Okay. Uh, Brant. Uh, okay, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Uh, all aged. I almost missed that. Uh, all age and mixed. Serve. Here. You know, Brantini is such a weird name. Oh yeah, no, I've been butchering it this whole time. <laughs> like, why do you think I struggle every time I, I, I fucking say this name? It was originally supposed to replicate the Martini. Problem is, the BTC got hold of uh, of a brand of Verma, v Vermouth that was named after a certain automobile company. So, on a weird whim, they changed the name. Ah, I see. Jill. Hmm? Jill. <laughs> That'd be a 4A, 69, 6C, 6C. 4010010100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100100
How so? They celebrate your building sex. Uh, they celebrate your budding sexuality. It's the point where society society tells you that you can fuck. <laughs> they are starting to look appealing enough for other people to consider fucking you. <laughs> Just like society. Um. It's also the hype. It's also the hypocritical way they tell you you can, but shouldn't fuck. I guess that's one way of seeing it. Although there's no point in celebrating those so late. There was this one time in middle school where I got fed up with a teacher. I was in 8th grade, but the idiot kept treating me like a child. So, one day, I adjusted my shirt, pushed my boobs together with my arms, and told them, Teacher, do you know how you can- how you could- do you know you could get me pregnant, right? Poor bastard couldn't look at me for the rest of the year. I also got suspended, scolded, and grounded, but it was totally worth it. I was a blossoming woman, and I wasn't gonna stand for it. This is why I like numbers. Numbers don't wait your sexual awakening. <laughs> Just to tell you later that you shouldn't be sexual. Numbers never betray you. They don't cross you. They don't expect you to form a family or give them grandkids. You think a 27 cares if you have a Catholic wedding? No, but I care that you're drunk. I am most certainly not. Then spell your name. 416C6D61. There. Not in hexadecimal. Uh... LM... Uh, I'll call you a cab. I'll be fine. I'm going home now. My brother-in-law is close by. He told me to call him when I was done. Bye, Jill. Take care out there. Hello, sugar. Ow. Oh, I thought I thought it was um, Dorothy. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Like my pop used to say, never touch the ass of a woman with metallic arms. I think it's more like plastic and car carbon fiber. They're hard as fuck and that's, <laughs> and that's all my abdomen fell. Do you normally greet people that way? I'm a man that can't contain himself when he sees something he likes, kid. Respect? <laughs> I can't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> oh, but don't worry, you're safe. You're flatter than the field at my summer's house. <laughs> you're flatter than the field at my summer house. A bit of advice? You shouldn't provoke the ones serving you drinks or food. Don't be offended, kid. You have your audience. I'm just not part of it. Today I'm making this a quick one. Gotta tend to business in a while. And he said that I'll just have the usual. The usual, he says. Okay. So a beer. Zabia. Um, and you know what? No, just for him. I'll make it extra large. Extra large. Yep. Oh. Almost there. Okay, um, alright. The 
the usual. Sure, this will work. What brings you today, Mr. Donovan? That girl I interviewed yesterday is coming again in a couple of weeks. So I was wondering... I was working to clinch an exclusive interview. Did you succeed? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? I'm Donovan D. Dawson. I always get what I want. Sure, I had to blackmail the editors of, of other outlets. But the end result is what matters. I see. Wait, blackmail? You'd be surprised at the kind of stuff you find out when you get the right people drunk. Hmm. Hey, is the signature on that glass over there? Ah, oh yeah. That big titted Lilim was here? She came yesterday before the concert, yeah. Anything juicy came out of her visit? No. Gossip worthy? No. Tabloid worthy? No. Come on, there has to be something. Uh, well, her love for what she does is so honest and pure that anyone who tries to ruin it should be ashamed. Oh, don't give me that shit. Throw me a bone here. Anything. I've got nothing. Everyone has a price. How much for you to spill the beans? I'm serious here. Said nothing that could be used against her or that you didn't already know. Fine. Hey kid, you think Lilim have nipples? I excuse me? I mean, I've seen a couple of pornos where they have them, but they could be modded, you know? So yesterday, while interviewing the singer Lilim chick, I kept wondering if those tits had nipples. I mean, I'd be fine without them, but the curiosity is killing me. I'm even more curious about the engineers that designed them. Can you picture a room full of people discussing whether or not the tits on a Lilim look good? A bunch of guys and a lesbo engineer wondering if the latest model's vagina is good enough. Man, God bless those sons of bitches. Um, any interesting preview, preview of tomorrow's news? You expect me to share my information when you wouldn't share your scoop on the singer? Or can one share when there's honestly nothing to share? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be a good citizen today and let this one pass. Have you heard of a group called the Harbringers? Not really, no. There's some group wanting to overthrow the White Knights. I read their manifesto in the bathroom once. Interesting piece, and even better makeshift toilet paper. They talk about how the organization is corrupt, full of mob bosses or something like that. I think I've heard about that somewhere. What of them? They sent a message to some outlets saying they have proof of their claims. That they're gonna release it to the public tomorrow. Oh, that'd be interesting to see, I think. I know, right? Alright, kid. Give me a bleeding Jane so I can call it a day. Okay. The lead actor of Night of the ID Snatcher's name was... I can almost remember it. Okay, uh, what was it? A bleeding Jane. So... Making it extra large. All blended, okay. Here. Simple enough for you, I see. So, I've heard this Dana Zane's bar. 
Is it true? Yeah. I never thought I'd hear about that. About the undefeated of the West again. More so after that incident with the bears. Where is she? She's out running some of her bears? Six years ago, uh, a cash-strapped Dana Zane entered an underground ring for money. Faced 10 enraged grizzly bears. She beat them all without killing them. I heard she set them free afterwards, too. And you were there? I was drunk and bored, what can I say? Do you know she lost her arm there? Can't remember, too drunk. Maybe she had her prosthetic then too. I heard someone there suggest... Wait. I heard someone there suggests that she lost it after throwing a baseball out of uh, out of some stadium. Threw it so hard her arm fell off. <laughs> but that sounds more like an unsub unsubstantiated rumor. More like something she made up. Well, I gotta go. Next time you see Dana, thank her for winning me my second yacht. I knew betting on her was the right choice. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna take a break because I'm pretty sure that my beer is coming. I'm pretty sure that my beer will be here any minute now. So, uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put the BRB and hopefully I actually remember to remove it. Uh, can I? Not safe to keep playing. Nice. Mm hmm. Where's my glasses? Where are my goddamn glasses? Why do I always lose my glasses? What am I, Belma? I found them, but I touched the lenses, and now I feel like, yeah, my fingerprint is on them. Um, let me find the fucking case. Oh, God. I can't go a single moment without scuff, can I? Like, I am literally the incarnation of scuff. Um, let me just, real quick, where is it? Uh, there it is. I almost just dropped the case. Okay. Sure. The drinks delayed. They were delayed, yeah. Um, but also I thought they they got delayed, then they got delayed again, but they actually ended up coming in after the, the second delay, and it was just the the like the GPS tracking on the app that was wrong. Cause uh you know how in some like delivery apps that it shows you like the the driver like approaching your address and um and uh you know it shows like you know there's like a time associated and everything yeah it, it showed like it, he was still like all the way over there like he hadn't moved uh but no he he was he was at the door it just the tracking was just shit for some reason Okay, um, I'm just gonna, Okay. 
Okay, I almost just spilled it. And it wasn't actually, it, it wasn't me just spilling it. The foam almost like went out of the bottle. Sometimes that happens. I don't know why. I don't know the science behind that. Anyway, back to the game. Mm hmm. 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 Oh, just straight like, like that. Just jump in the game. Just jump, choose the music. Yo. All right. Um. What is good health bad for? Oh, so that's how you remove. Oh, okay. You know what? Let's just get that, that fresh new... Oh, wait, actually, I shouldn't have removed. Oh, well. And glow lights. I mean, of course, we're gonna put Drive Me Wild. Like, come on, who do you think I am? Then, I think Welcome to Valhalla goes in. Commencing simulation. Every day is night. Ah. Uh, who was I? This gives me very visual novel vibes, so I'll put it in. In fact, I'm gonna put it first. In case that... In, in case that invited. You know what? This has a very jazzy theme. Perfect for a bar. Like all systems go. Will you remember me? I can't even hear this one. This one I'm putting in because I love this one. Mio Avatar. Hold on. Ooh. Put this one in. Does it have in shadows? Yeah, get nighttime maneuvers. This reminds me of an actual song, but I can't remember what song it was. Hmm? I don't... Can I, uh... You know what? Let's just... Let's just put it in. I like this one. Nationalize within. On approaches.
Digital Drive. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, this one 100% goes in. Metropolis. Wait, are these actual songs? Yeah, this is definitely an actual song. Wait, so are all of these actual songs and I just didn't realize? I'm putting this in, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna put a few of these... Alright, ready. Ah, boss, you're back. Yeah, sorry about not being here earlier. What were you doing? I had a brief meeting with my BTC regional manager. Oh, everything alright? As alright as it can be, considering that we're closing eventually. When will that happen? I don't know. Brian said uh, we'll be safe for a few months while the paperwork is filed and everything's being put in order. Oh. I was also talking to him about you. About me? Yeah. I was telling him to do whatever it takes to ensure that you don't spend too much time without a job. If possible, to reassign you ASAP after closing. Hey, if it helps, Brian might be the angriest of us all. They want to close the only bar in the whole area that hasn't given me any headaches, he said. <laughs> what about Jill? He's the one that worries me the most, actually. He's kind of working using the credit credentials of another guy that was working here before. Who? The one who bought a levitation potion and then threw himself off a building? Ah, yes, the levitation potion story. You use weird e euphemisms, boss. Anyway, I find it hard to believe that Jill will find a job after all this. Just who is Jill? I have an idea of who he is. But I'm still putting pieces together. Anyway, back to work. Even then closure is no excuse to, to slack off. Yes, sir. You guys do know I can hear you, right? This place looks familiar. Excuse me, is this the Valhalla bar? It is indeed. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh god. What is Say planning now? Excuse me? I want a drink whose name was changed after many women protested. Can you get me that? Sure. Uh... Uh, excuse the shit out of me? I guess... Bad touch? We're nothing but mammals after all. Here, Bleeding Jane. Blue Light, Blue Fairy. Um... Uh... Mars Blast? 
Maybe it's in like the the girly drinks. Bluff Dream. Uh Sugar Rush. Oh. Uh Hold on, let me- I actually don't know what drink this is, hold up. Uh... Uh... Drink... That... Is it Piano Woman? Um, Piano Woman. It was originally called the Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a Piano Woman if there was a Piano Man. Okay, so I guess it's Piano Woman. All right. One, two, three, four. Five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, all aged. Um, yeah, I think that's. Okay, piano woman. Serve. Here you go. Very nice. Thanks a lot. So, you know saying, miss? I'm Stella Hoshi. My pleasure. Yeah, I know her. She's been here before, yes? Yep. In fact, I'm glad you know her because she left this here last time. Oh, God. So she left here her helmet. Again? I'm guessing it's said again. Not the first time, huh? Her helmets... Have been picked up by all sorts of people in the last three months. Valets, nurses, morticians, fire jugglers. She's been lucky enough to always leave it with people who return it, at least. Well, quite a few people. Say is as much of a sociable girl as she is a total klutz. At least when she's not being serious, she's very competent when she puts her mind to it. I see. So, does she recommend you this place, or...? We're meeting here today. I can see why she chose this place. It's the kind of place she likes. Hmm? Say, is that Kiramiki's autograph on that glass? Seems like the glass is a conversation starter. Nice. Yeah, it is. How did you get it? She stopped here yesterday just before the concert. Really? I mean, she did? Yeah, nice girl. Can I see it? Sure. Yep, this star-like signature is hers. So your name's Jill then? Yes. Ain't this nice. Here you go. Do you like her, Miss Stella? Just call me Stella. I do. Whenever you hear her songs, you're filled with so much energy and happiness. I heard she even opened with a new version of Shine Spark. I'm so vexed that I couldn't purchase a ticket for this one. 
new version. Yes, I heard the leak from the event. It felt more, how to put it, hot-blooded. I see. She definitely took the dark act too far. <laughs> oh, excuse me for a second. Hello? Where the hell are you? Car crash? Oh, you're helping. Will it take long? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I take it I will say. Yes. Will you wait for her? I will. In the meantime, I feel like having another drink. One that was prepared in memory of its creator's dearest friend. That's a piano man. Alright. Okay. It, that's piano man, I'm pretty sure, right? A drink does not represent the opinions of the bar pianist union or its associates. It was the piano man, right? Look at me learning about alcohol. Uh, all on rocks. And mix. Piano Mom. Is this the one you had in mind? Yes, exactly. Thank you. May I ask you something that might be personal? Oops, I hit the mic. Isn't about my eye, is it? No, it's not. Or at least I don't think so. I don't get to serve many cat boomers, so it's something I've been curious about. Did you go through the procedure because of a disaster or because of the fad? Before I was born, I was diagnosed with nanomachine reje rejection. Nanomachine son. So it had to be done, otherwise I would have died shortly after birth. I'm a bit on the weak side because of it, though. I'm sorry if I overstepped. I don't mind. It's always nice to dispel the idea that my parents were uh, just into the fad. You seem to know your drinks, Jill. Well, I guess I've read a bit more than the recipe book. Do you like alcohol? Yeah, but not in the usual way. I don't drink that much outside of canned beer. To be fair, also bartenders aren't actually allowed to drink, I'm pretty sure. Uh, they aren't allowed to, to get drunk. I'm... Because... Uh, you know, because technically they... You know, they're not themselves when they're drunk. They could, you know, fuck something up in their own bar. So yeah, bartenders aren't actually allowed to um, get drunk. So yeah, the Jill can't actually get drunk in this. Because, like, legally, like, she can't drink in the bar. Uh, but their colors, their stories, the way you need to keep them stored, their designs. It sounds a bit silly when I say it out loud. Not at all. Do you collect them or anything like that? Actually, yeah, I started with my grandpa's collection. And I've been slowly growing it. It's been hard because of my debts, but I manage little by little. Do you like alcohol, Stella? I'm here, right? But I'm normally more of a social drinker. Unless it's with somebody I don't tend to drink much. I see. Sorry I'm late. Welcome. You took your sweet time. Yeah, sorry, sorry. My sister's a bartender, aren't she? She doesn't even like drinking. She likes the stories it brings. Yeah, I can see that. 
because being a bartender is probably like a <laughs> like you could probably find some like really funny like story out there like just working in a bar you'd like like some shenanigans gonna happen eventually I got caught in rush hour traffic too, and I figured walking might be faster. Luckily, there was a building with emergency stairs nearby, and I climbed down. Climbed down? Took an air cab. Oh. I would suggest using ground transportation, but I'm happy to see you put your safety first. Safety? No, no, flying cars are just way cooler. I still don't understand how they don't give you motion sickness. If I find out how I avoid it, you'll be the first to know. Anyway, I'll have whatever she orders next. I'd like a drink that was... You're at it again, you and your cryptic orders, always leaving us with weird stuff. Hey, I expect only the best from whoever serves me. You need to be able to answer these kind of orders. Still, I'm sure you're wearing... You're wearing poor Jill here out with that kind of stuff. She's done quite well so far, actually. Really? Thank you. Whatever, please order s something normal. That'll be two fringe weavers then. You have two drinks at once? No, we're sharing. What, like half a glass for each? Isn't it better if it's one for each? Don't worry, you'll see. Um, okay, so... Fringe Weaver, uh... One, and then it's just all alcohol. <laughs> No way, that's too much. Like the uh, all agent mix. Fringe Weaver. And next, it's the exact same thing. Uh, all age and mixed. Serve. Two fringe weavers. So? This one's for you and this is for me. You said you wanted whatever I asked for, right? Oh, that way. You could have said so earlier. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, here. Hey, so this is where I left my helmet. Thanks. You really need to be more careful with your things. Yeah, but I have spares. <sighs> Those spares should be safe for when the one you're using breaks or malfunctions, not when you lose it. Those helmets cost money, you know? Yeah, sorry. Should I say that boss got her head stuck be because of a jammed button? Speaking of money, you still going to that meeting at the bank tomorrow? Yep. You worried? I'll refrain for now. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I wasn't. <laughs> Don't be. I'll be fine. Rumors are just rumors. Rumors. They say something might happen at the bank tomorrow. But with all the tension in the air lately, it's hard to know if it's true. As if the gear... ...mongering wasn't enough. The people have also started spreading baseless rumors. Just yesterday, I had to stop a group of rampaging, rampaging youngsters uh, that heard the city would 
uh, be leveled by bombs. <sighs> Everyone's on edge. Yeah. I know you're worried, but I have to go there. It's orders from the higher-ups. Tell me something. If somebody came after me, do you think they'd stand a chance? They're quite strong, but... I'll take risk. I'll, uh, uh, I'll take something to protect myself. Be prepared for anything. Does that make you feel safer? Maybe. I'll tell you what. After I come back, we'll get some ice cream. That way, you can vent all your frustrations. Alright. Seems my vehicle is here to pick up, uh, to pick me up. You come and say? No, I'll stay here a bit longer. Okay then, take care. Bye. She's such a worry wart. That means she cares about you. I've never doubted. Say, why does my helmet smell like bacon? Eh, uh, bacon? Not that I mind, I'm just curious. Well, you know, some things just absorb the smell of what's nearby. It must have grabbed it from one of the ingredients. I see. Do you believe all that stuff about tension growing and the uh, uh, anarchist group trying to disband the White Knights? To tell you the truth, I'm a bit worried. Even my division... Uh... In my division, even in my division, there's been some shitty business going on. But I don't want to investigate too deeply. What kind of business? From what I understand, things like working with human traffickers or drug dealers, letting them act as they wish. Some even say the ones that do get apprehended are the ones that have failed them in some way. Stella always says the White Knights are just glorified mall security. She says that if it's proven beyond a doubt that some shady business is going on. Zaibatsu Corp's main branch would separate themselves from the whole White Knight division. Something about the associates fear of bad PR resulting in them moving to the BTC. Sounds plausible. Yeah, it kind of worries me though. Because I really like my job. And I guess a similar fear exists among the upper ranks. Lately they seem restless. Too much politics, huh? It hurts my brain. I just want to rescue people and help them. Yeah, it hurts my brain too, having to stay awake for 25 hours. I've, it's funny because I've been awake for 25 hours and... Uh, and... Uh, that sub count hasn't grown a single digit, so... I'm gonna be here for a long time. A long, long, long time. I just want to do my job without worries about politics of any kind. What are you doing at the bank tomorrow? My colonel needed to relay some information uh, to the manager and, and I was picked because he trusted me. Well, he said you're such a simpleton that you never give the wrong message. But it's his intention that counts. Uh oh. Finally, the Dorothy has come back to Valhalla. Please refrain from doing those sitcom-like entrances. You're disturbing other clients. Oh, come on. You know the audience would have gone wild with that one. And besides, you make it sound like you have a full house. <clears throat> it's uncommon to see you here two days in a row. I wanted to grab something before starting my shift. Grab something before they start grabbing me, you know, you could say. Hey, you having a drink? Can I buy you one? 
Why yes, thank you. Honey, you should follow her example and offer me drinks more often. We'll see. What are you having? I'll have what she's having. Then I've got the perfect thing. Let's have a blue fairy. One for both. One for each. Alright. Strap on my prize itching. Um, hold on. So, blue fairy. One, two, three, four. One. And just make them drunk as fuck. Go. Full alcohol. Full alcohol. Uh, all aged as well. And mixed. Yes. And next. Now do the exact same thing. So, four. And then, full alcohol. Put, put as much karma trine as possible. Uh, and all aged. Serve. Two fairies. Hey, this is pretty good. See? And it's blue, like your hair. Well, it's more green, to be fair, but okay. It is. No, that's that that's green, but okay. So what's your name, sweetie? Call me Say. Alright, Say, I'm Dorothy. Say, Say. Yes, yes. <laughs> say, Say. Yes, yes. Say, Say. Say, say. Say. Why did you just buy me a drink? I just thought you were cute as a button, so I wanted to invite you to join me. Wow. You have to be the first person to offer me a drink without having an ulterior motive. And that includes fuckboy over there. People making fun of Jill is the funniest thing, I, can't, I swear to god. What do you mean? Trust me, when you work in my kind of field, you learn to read cues from everything. And this girl is simple to a fault. How so? You're the... What you see is what you get type. Just a guy who loves adventure. Uh, that look on your face is, uh, is of one that simply sees no point in lying. Coupled with the fact that you're here in what looks like your work attire tells me you're the type so married to your job that sex is too far down your priority list to notice its existence. So if you invited me to a drink because you found me cute and that's the extent of it, I believe you. Thank you. You say she's the first one, but what about... Deal giving you a ticket the other day? Who? Oh yeah, the little one with the dogs. No, he doesn't count. He looked like a human on map. Ouch. You seem very perceptive, Dorothy. But I'm not too far behind. How so? I can tell your body is heavily modded, with things you shouldn't even have. Your tongue is a BEB-069, <laughs> nice, with DNA scanning capabilities. Your skin is coated with an anti-radi- an anti-radiation finish. Your joints are of premium- fuck's sake, premium, yes, motherfucking, motherfucking premium, yeah. Yeah, that's good. Your joints are of premium, extra flexible ver v v variety. Ooh. And the most important thing, your hands. Ooh, what about them? I don't know how mo how modded your body is under your clothes, 
The tongue, joints, and skin are merely interesting. But your hands are the MIRD-113 of Rialta, in of, uh, Rialta Industries. A model designed to shoot class 5 bullets from its fingertips. S so? Clause G of Article 17 is... Article 17 in the Augmentations and Modifications Law on the topic of Ballistic uh, Augmentation. Any humanoid or sapient creature under civilization designed that hasn't upgraded any of its person to hold firearms of class 3 grade or higher will be either commissioned for dismantle for dismantlement or sent to danger zones what are you gonna do nothing eh? i'm not in law enforcement i just don't do i just do rescue and even if i was i'm not on duty right now Oh, I want to know though, why go through with that upgrade? A girl's got to take care of herself, you know? I want to be able to deal with things if they get ugly. And this is the most discreet mod I had. Or at least I thought so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay then, can I give you some advice? I guess. The reason I could tell it's not your default hand model is your fingertips. The tips are a little bigger to make the cannons fit. Could get a smaller mod that changes them into disposable tips. Assuming they're being used for self-defense and not regular use, of course. I I see. Well, I gotta go. And yes, another thing. If you aim for the arms or legs, one once it's self-defense, anything more is assault. E yeah. Bye, Dorothy. Bye, Jill. Bye, bye. Please come again. <laughs> I thought she was going to take me away. Oh shit. I... Dude, put my mind in a vacuum cleaner for three years. Two if I behave well. That's what happens when you underestimate people. Although, I'm tempted to ask. About what? DNA reading tongue. Very prehensile. Intuitive. Also, it vibrates. Extra flexible joints? Do you really need to ask? Anti-radiation coating? Hey, my skin my, is my first tool of the trade. I need to take care of it as much as possible. And it makes it feel so soft no matter how much is, it's battered. It's been battered. Alright then. So you fancy yourself a diviner, reading people, reading people and all? Not really, I'm just quite good at reading people. I guess it's a byproduct of dealing with so many people on a daily basis. It's a bit surreal to hear that from a Lilim. What can you say about me then? Let's see, hmm... You're very, very, very sexually frustrated. It's not the act itself, but rather your partners can't seem to satisfy you on a deeper level. Do 
There's an even deeper frustration. Something happens that's blocking you. Maybe there's someone who you know won't return your feelings. Maybe you were hurt in the past. Thus, your demeanor is that of someone who feels like life is playing tricks on her. Like a dog whose owner never really throws the ball. Oh boy, did I actually hit the nail on the head? I was making this stuff up on, my, on the fly. All of that was just rubbish I say because it's right 80% of the time. Generic bullshit if you will. You'd be surprised at the amount of sexual frustration people hold. Can't read you honey. You're too good at putting on a professional face. But this definitely gives me more insight into you. Lucky lucky. Aren't you late on something? I am. But if you let me satisfy your frustrations, I could solve for some time. Go. Fine, fine. Bye bye, honey. Artificial intelligence has come rather far, huh? One wonders how artificial it remains. Shut up, fuckboy. Everything done? Yeah. Hey boss, this might seem random, but... Do you remember the first time I came to the bar? When you came to submit your contract? Yeah, why? Well, for some reason, I've been hung up on... I've been hung up on it since this morning, and I just realized why. The visage uh, that welcomed me back when... Uh, that welcomed me back then was Jill trying to pull your hand out of a jar. <laughs> oh yeah, that... <laughs> I can't remember what exactly... I can't remember what exactly, but... Something fell inside and I tried to retrieve it. I just kind of put my hand in and... It got stuck. It was a friend's jar too, so I couldn't just break it. Hey Jill. How did you get my hand out of that jar? I was drawing some butter. Oh yeah, clever solution. Yeah. And that brings me to the random thought. That incident... That incident, the helmet yesterday, the many times your foot got stuck on something for stomping it. Boss, why do you get stuck in so many different things? Huh? Now that you mention it, I remember this one time she tried to eat a big sandwich and her jaw got stuck. Then there was this incident with the TV. I'll admit my fault with the others, but the TV incident was not my fault. The assembly instructions for that stand should have been labeled should have labeled their Z's and S's better. You saw what happened when I switched the S2 piece with the 5Z with the 5Z one. Still, Jill's on some Jill's onto something here. Ahem. Yeah, she is. Now go clean the dishes and you can leave for today. Alright. I like to think she'll make an effort now to avoid getting stuck in things. I want to believe. check something okay okay you she'll have no problem focusing on work today 
Happy birthday. I really like the website, huh? I have needs. I wish, I wish that there was a little more to do on this screen, not gonna lie. Cause like, yeah, you can... You can like, go on your phone, but... There isn't really much to do here. And yeah, you can look at like, social medias and shit, but... Still. Friday, December 16th. Good evening. Hello. Seems you made it just in time. I think that's just a car backfiring. Really? Something more like a gunshot to me. Have you ever heard gunshots? Haven't we all at some point? Yeah, well... See? Sounds more like a car's exhaust. I don't know, it's too dry. Yeah, but gunshots have more echo. What if it's a firecracker? Ah, boss. Firecrackers? Yep, a couple of years ago, there was an incident where some dude killed a cop. He managed to sl slip away because his pistol was mixed up with the usual Mega Christmas firecrackers. Nah, send it too hollow for firecrackers. Well, whatever. This is not a morning talk show. No. I'm not paying you to chit chat about meaningless things. At least not amongst yourself. Right. We shouldn't lose time over a car's exhaust. Hey. Uh... Time to mix drinks and change lives. Welcome to Valhalla. Hello, I'm looking for some information. What kind of information? What can you nick? What can you tell me about a girl nicknamed Crimson Rose? Sounds like a tacky online handle. Although tacky online handle is a bit of is a bit redundant. Do you know anything about her? Nope, sorry. I have eighty dollars here that might refresh your memory. Now that you mention it, I remember something. <laughs> really? Yeah. Now I'm totally sure that I have no idea whatsoever who you're talking about. Nothing at all? Nothing. Man. You're a sucky bartender. Not having any info I need. <sighs> well, first of all, why assume I just happen to have the info you conveniently need? Does that girl frequent this place? Is there any proof that I might have the infos you so desperately need? Well, I... And second, you're not going to get anywhere by offending me... By, by offering me physical money. In fact, what are you doing with physical money? Do you want to get mugged so badly? Yeah, well... Moreover... Even if I did not know something, do you really think $80 is enough? You can do almost nothing with $80. It's not enough to have a decent lunch. Why are you scalding me? Why did you call me a sucky bartender for not conveniently having the info you need? I... Wait, of course. You want all deals to be clean. So you need me to spend money on the bar. 
That's how it works, right? I spend money, you give me the info. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, then give me a drink. But keep it under $80. $80. Let's see what kind of drink you can buy with that. No. Um, by type, no. If I do like girly drinks, sugar rush, no, it's still. Suplex? No. M. Oh my god, you can't buy anything with $80. Oh, gut punch. Perfect. Okay. Okay, um... One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna get you drunk just because I hate you. Okay, all aged and mixed. Here. Okay then, do you know anything about the girl? No. But you said maybe, maybe not. Turns out that it's maybe not. You were the one deluding yourself into thinking I might know something. And like I said, $80 is nothing. So, I need to spend more? I'll give you some intel. Spend all the money you want, but I know nothing and no amount will change that. Can I at least get my money back? Why? The order is right, isn't it? <sighs> I guess. So, why are you looking for that girl, mister? Von Delay. Art Von Delay. I'm a private detective. It's what I do. So I'll assume you're either looking for a missing girl or working for a creepy online stalker. You're assuming the girl I'm looking for is innocent or lost? She's not? She's half of the so-called reapers of the, of the city. <sighs> Two guns for hire that work for whoever's resourceful enough to find them and wealthy enough to pay them. Crimson Rose and Cobalt Lily, they call themselves. They still sound more like teenagers' internet nicknames. So, who do you- So, who wanted you to track her? I don't know, I got the letter with the instruction and the paycheck. What if it's a prank? I have the money, so what do I care if it is? Besides, considering the amount of- I was able to cash in that check, it'd, it'd be a pretty wasteful prank. I see. Still, any information or rumors you could give me? They don't have to be related to the girl. I do need them. It's always good to keep up with local going guns. What the fuck does that mean? Well, let's see. Hmm. Sorry, I can't think of anything right now. Most of the conversation you hear in here aren't rumor worthy. 
room humor worthy maybe but not much about current events at least not beyond what you see on the news damn it what kind of bar is this if you can't gather the world on the street what kind of film noir world do you think you live in Jill might know something if you're so fixated on finding some kind of information. I... I don't know what you're talking about. Do you know something... That might help me, Jill? I don't. I certainly don't. And I'm offended by the suggestion that I do. He knows something. On second thought, maybe it's better if you don't get involved with him. Well... This has been a major waste of time, and here I thought all the noise BTC bars have made lately would be useful for something. Noise? What noise? You don't know? I'm asking for a reason. You'll find out soon enough, don't worry. In any case, I guess I'll have another drink and leave. What can I get you? I have a grizzly temple. Simple enough. Uh, G, grizzly temple. Oh, wow, that's perfect. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, and blend. Here. Okay then. This is going to be deducted from the $80 from earlier, right? No. Fine. Come on, there has to be something. This week has been slow as hell. The only good thing I've... heard is about this girl who threw herself off the roof of a nearby mall. And the whole thing about a woman catching her mid-air makes me think it's totally made up. Aside from rumors that the Harbringers are looking to cause trouble at a bank today, no, not really. Damn it. Wait, who told you that? It appeared in the news, didn't it? Yeah, but the name the Harbringers Heartbringers wasn't used. No glitch city outlet was reported has reported that themselves. There are rumors that someone or something is keeping them silent. And even the interceptional outlets aren't using the name Heartbringers. They're avoiding acknowledging the organization, yet for some reason. So you're either one of them, or somebody in the note told you about it. Wow, he can be surprisingly sharp. Yeah, Donovan D. Dawson was in here for the last three days, actually. Really. I wonder if you'll notice the glass that Idol signed. I mean, sure, I can't think of anything that would be useful involving him right now, but... Guess not. Did you talk about anything interesting? Interviewing the idol that had the show a couple of days ago. Dealing with messy interns. Par for the course, I guess. I see, I see. That's... Gunshot! It's a backfire. Firecrackers! Hey, what do you think that sound? Hey, what do you think that sound? What do you think that sounds just now was? Something like something very heavy being dropped. Something heavy? Come on, that's not even close. It was definitely more like an explosion of some kind. No, you could clearly hear the clashing of the metal.
something that was both made out of metal uh and very heavy fell down that's what made the sound whatever it is it's not normal for it to be repeating so often i wonder if it's some something's happening I heard there were some gang spats going on. Maybe they took the conflicts here. Which means gunshots. If that's the case, I just hope they don't come too near us. Well, I've got to go. Seems coming here wasn't a waste of time after all. Really? Really? I just have different needs. But there will be a time when this place might help me. Goodbye. Please come again. Don't, please. Gangs, then. Unlikely. This is a unicorn territory. They've always been a neutral and important third party in other gangs deals. Then... The who what now? <sighs> I'll just pretend I heard nothing. Thank you. He left me thinking about the whole noise from the BTC bars. What's up with that? I think I heard something about money laundering through bars. <laughs> Don't take my word for it though. I see. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Welcome. I'm streaming Chan, giving you a live video feed of my life and adventures 24 7. Bathroom time and naughty moments only available to premium users. It's only 99.99 a month. Go premium now. You hear that chat? Go premium now! I don't even have a premium. Oh no. Um It's Friday night, and you all know what that means. It's time for streaming Chan's Escapades. Today's escapade is brought to you by Shining Finger Dot Mo. Leaders of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Nine. Buy a year of premium membership and you'll get a code. Exchange the code for a free child of VR experience modeled after yours truly. Excuse... Today... I picked the shuddiest, nastiest, smelliest, ugliest bar I could find downtown. And sadly, it actually looks half decent inside, so... Much of... Much for... It actually looks half decent inside. So much for going to a crap hole bar that smells like dog urine. Oh, don't worry, you're, you're only like a few days too late. <laughs> Excuse me. But no matter, tonight, I'll give you an escapade. You'll never forget. Hey you, where's the bartender? You're talking to her. Very funny, where is he, really? Where is he, really? Right in front of you. Hey you, pretty boy over there, where's the bartender? You're looking at him. N no way. No hot shirtless guy playing with fire and serving drinks while flirting with you? No sexy sc scantily clad girl jiggling around the place? You're telling me you two dress like fucking waiters are the bartenders here? Yep. Seems that way. Hmm. Is that a problem? Of course it's a problem. Friday nights are peak viewing hours. 
I need something sexy or enticing to keep them interested. Oh well, there's an easy solution to that. There is? Yeah, just take your top off. You might need to take off your bra too, depending on how the traffic goes. Wait, you're quite flat. Do you even use a bra? <laughs> oh hell no. Oh hell no. <laughs> this is war. <laughs> Is that piercing there? No. Come on, one of us is gonna have to take off their top and it ain't gonna be me. I already did that once today. Ah, uh, and it's too late to go anywhere else. By the time I find an even nastier bar, they'll even be closed. What's your policy on wearing pants? Somebody tried to have me fired for wearing a skirt, so we had to deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. That's not a concrete answer. I need binary yes-no answers. My viewers have the attention span of fruit flies. If they wanted to use their brains, do you think they'd watch something like this? I need to keep them entertained. And the fact that you still have your shirt on isn't helping. Wait, I know. Give me a drink. A big one. The nastiest one you can think of. Um, hello. Service here, please. Wow. It's like my brain shut down. Sure. Nasty drink. Nasty drink. Manly and promo drinks are both nasty. But that's my option. So, by type, let's do promo drinks. Grizzly Temple? No, 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 no. Bloom Light? Not enough. No, we need, we need, like, a Zen Star. I think. I think Zen Star. Piano Man, Piano Woman. Um, how about Man Drinks? Pile Driver. Suplex. Mars Blast. What was the one with, um... Bleeding Jane? No. Was that Brantini? No, it wasn't. Uh, classy drink. Uh, Mercury Blast? No. What was it? It was like... It was like one Adelhide and like nine... Karma Trine. Fringe Weaver. The, the, the Fringe Weaver, yes. Okay, let's... Can I make... I have a feeling I can make like... A... Like, double of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Nine and one, two. Technically, it's a double fringe weaver, it's a big fringe weaver. 
Um, all aged and mixed. Serve. Here you go. Okay, cheers. Maybe you shouldn't drink that so quickly. Woohoo! Those were nice. Wait, they weren't nice. I want a nasty drink. Stuff that tastes like paint. Like paint thinner. No cookie for you. Or no cookie for you. Okay, I've decided. I'll just get really wasted. That's gotta be fine enough, right? If you say so. Okay, in the meantime, what can you tell me about this bar? What do you mean? Weird stories, fun stuff, interesting facts. You're being seen by an average of 6,000 people. Make their time worth it. Let's see then. Last weekend we held a party for the Safe Our Toy Company. And? It's a company run completely by dogs. Really? This place was completely overrun by corgis. Wait, 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 wait. Corgis? Did you really serve drinks to corgis? Tuxedo clad, talking corgis, yep. Wow, awesome. Wait, you're not shitting me, right? I wish I was shitting you, trust me. <laughs> what else, what else? Um, let's see. Donovan D. Dawson from the... Augmented Eye was here for three nights in a row. That perfumed chauvin, ch chauvin, chauvinistic bastard, whatever the fuck that means. Uh, there's that word again. Just the other day, someone from the Augmented Eye interviewed me, actually. What'd they, what'd they ask? Oh, the usual bullshit. Who I was, what I did, future plans, inspirations. The one that interviewed me was this small, meek girl with glasses. She seemed a bit bitter, though. I wonder why. But enough about that. Wait. Can I see that glass over there? Hmm, sure. The signature. Is this Kiramiki's autograph? Yeah, she came here before her last concert. Get out, really? Is this some kind of secret hidden bar of the stars or something? Not really. We're just in the right place at the right time. What kind of person is she? What kind of person is she when she's not on stage? I've tried to get... It. I've tried to get a meeting with her. And she actually seemed willing, but she's always busy. A very nice girl, actually. She seemed to be completely invested in her work. She loves what she does, and it shows. You'd think... Uh, she'd be some sort of diva, but... As far as I'm concerned, she's one of the nicest people I've met. I knew it. I knew she was nice. Her passion show, uh, shows in her concerts, you know? She's so spontaneous. Her performance are never the same. Um, every time she sings Shine Spark, I feel my soul is warming up like... A high performance computer. Shine Spark! I find myself singing in the shower all the time. And those who pay premium can hear me sing every day at. <laughs> at. 99.99 dollars a month. Go premium now. That aside, I was about to call. Uh, bullshit on what you said But I guess you do have some sort of proof for everything Can I keep this glass no pretty please no party pooper 
At least this part might be more interesting than I initially thought. The one thing that'd make it perfect is if Pretty Boy over there had had a pass with the KGB. <laughs> Who told? Yeah, that'd be crazy, huh? Are you gonna order anything else? What? Oh, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the whole getting wasted thing. I heard of a drink called a bad touch. Get me a big one of those. A big bad touch. Coming right up. Let's... <laughs> give her a... <laughs> a big bad touch. One, two, one, no, wait, actually, yeah, four, four, okay, um, I think that's about right. Bad touch, sir. Here. I was expecting something dirtier. We have all we have olive brine. I I can pour in a bit if that's what you want. No, not that. It's such a dirty name, it feels like the drink ought to come into of a, a, a phallic glass or be this thick white liquid that would have skyrocketed the watchers at least threefold don't you have anything like that nope ah <sighs> guess I'll have uh guess I'll have to make do with the condensed milk when I get home. Funny reminder that today's escapade is brought to you by ShiningFinger.mo. Leaders are of VR adult entertainment since 2069. Buy a year of premium membership for a neat code. I can you? Side code will net you a free trial of, v of a VR experience with a model based on Mo on Moe. What's the deal with that VR experience? Well, a fan made. Well, a fan made an NND model of me. Is that a is that a reference to MMD like Miku Miku Dance? I feel like, I feel like that's like a parody of that. Uh, when Shining Fingered asked me about a model of our partnership, I just contacted him. He got money for polishing the model on more. I got my partnership, we all won. I haven't got him a year of free premium membership and a VR set. <laughs> That's nice. Wait, what's NND? Don't tell me you haven't heard of Niku Niku Dance. Okay, yeah, it is. <laughs> I was right on the money with that one, damn. I asked for a reason. It's... Well, it's a music... Fuck. Yeah, that sounds like a good enough explanation. I see. 
to be honest though, the model's a bit meatier than me. Not that I mind it. Though, considering the use it gets. Um, you know, I was expecting you to be a be more scared when I said that you're being watched by a lot of people. It's hard to be scared when you can't see these people. That's true, actually. Like, when... Like, when there is a... Like, when, when the... When you're not being, like, watched by a crowd... Like, it, it's it's a lot easier. It's not as nerve-wracking. Because, like, for all I know, you could be AI. I know you're not, but you could be. You know, chat? That can't happen. Well, how do I know you're not robots? I technically don't. I know you're not. But how can I know? But they're still there, you know? Sure, they're behind screens and sometimes in opposite corners of the world. But every single one of my viewers is a real person with a real life. Not being here doesn't make them any less real. I understand, but it's just not the same. They're not here visibly paying attention to me. I don't get paranoid because of my phone contacts. That's true, I guess. So, any kinky stories you can tell us, Mr. Miss Bartender? I swear, the music keeps changing so perfectly according to each scenario. Like... Kinky? A client that paid you with his body. Spending half an hour of quality time with Pretty Boy over there in the closet. Getting a raise by pleasing your boss. No quickie with, uh, no quickie with the hobos behind the bar. No stumbling upon a furry orgy in the, <laughs> in the alleys. Why do I get this feeling you're trying to see if anybody has done the same things you have? That's something only my premium members get to know. Only 99.99 a month. Go premium. Sorry, no sexual gentleman magazine worthy stories. Okay, maybe not here, but... What about your daily life? That's for me to know. And you to never hear about. Fine. What about your clients then? Some must have told you some incredible stories. Those are spur of the moment things I don't repeat to others. On one hand, I'm feeling so secure with you right now that I could tell my life story. On the other hand, you're not making my job any easier. Don't you have like a really stacked friend that's willing to pretend to be a bartender on like for half an hour? That would at least mean some eye candy. <sighs> Look, I don't know. Maybe you've got nice legs, but they don't mean much if you're behind the counter, lady. Okay, this is getting stale. I'm gonna heat this up. I'm gonna heat this up. This... Even if I have to do it myself. We need to drop a cow in here. Miss Bartender, get me drunk. I don't care how, just do it. Okay. He's asking me... To get her drunk, no matter what. That's an interesting request. Well.
Let's, uh... I mean, who am I to say no? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one, two. Uh, all aged. <laughs> I almost forgot to unmix it. Alright, so. So? Lightheadedness. Clumsy tongue. Palms sweaty, knees weak, arms spaghetti. Can't feel my legs. Can't feel my legs. <laughs> Alright, let's get it on with the loot stuff. First, I'll try to guess your bus size. I must warn you, I have a 90% success rate with this. Hmm, I'd say... Hmm, B. Not big enough to fill a hand, but not small enough to make you look like a child. You're a size B, right? I'm not discussing my... Uh, I'm not discussing my bust. Don't be like that. I can tell you're a B-cup. Your attitude makes me think you're an S. And your behavior makes me think your blood is AB. So, how many did I get right? Who knows. Yeah, please let me get on with this. I need... I need you to cooperate if this is going to be a success. Can I ask you something? Finally! What's the point of getting drunk if you're not going to behave the same way? <laughs> I guess it's kind of redundant. Because you see, I'm drunk 24-7. Eh? Knowing people want to watch me do anything and everything. Seeing the viewer count steadily rise as I take more risks and become more adventurous. It's a feeling that neither alcohol nor sex can compare to. Speaking of sex... If I get lucky tonight, you will need to pay $99.99 to see what happens afterwards. Go premium or go home. Um... Do you really get lucky if the other person knows they're being streamed? You'd be surprised by how many are actually turned on by that. How do you deal with people who don't want their identities revealed? Everything's written here. By being captured by this camera, you hereby provide consent to the use of your face. On all material produced by streaming channel LLC. I'm not sure how legal that is. People believe it is, and I've yet to be troubled by a lawyer. It's funny though, when... When you're on street, unless it's somebody really high, you can't recall their faces. But you learn their name and... Suddenly they're a fucking snowflake. This is better than all the rest. Ah, uh -huh, this is weird. I'm feeling sleepy. You did ask me to get you drunk. Why is it weird? Because I haven't felt sleepy in quite some time. In fact, I've been sleep deprived for a while now. I mean, honestly, streaming chat, same. We're, we're literally on the same boat. We're, we're, we're quite literally streaming for every single day of our lives right now. And like... Like, I, 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 I haven't slept in 20, in, no, in 26 hours. Alright. I, I haven't slept in 26 hours. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be sleeping for another three days. How long? A week. A week? 
weeks are the one with 30 days, right? Um, yep, totally sleepy. I can't feel my eyes getting heavier. And there's this weird lag when I try to move. What's with that? Anyways, I think I'll take a little nap before storming off and continuing the night. Feel excuse me. Should I call a cab? And risk waking her up? Beaver B, I'd rather break the rules than let her sleep. I'd rather break the rules and let her sleep than deal with her again. I'm gonna take my break now. It's been a while since I need the cigarette this badly. Alright. Nice, we can save. Uh, I think I'm actually taking a break as well. Um, and I'm actually gonna finish this beer because I still haven't finished it. It's only like a sip left. Bottoms up. Uh, Finish up. All right. All right. Are you tired yet? <laughs> oh, I've been tired. Um, though admittedly not as tired as I was. I'm still not like as tired as when I started playing Eve. Like when I started playing Eve, I was. Like, I was, I was actually, like, falling asleep. Then I needed to do something. So I, I left to do said thing. For like, a, for, like, a few minutes. Then I came back. And, like, I don't know. From then on, I just, I just wasn't really all that sleepy anymore. I'm, I, I can feel being tired. But I'm not all that tired. You know, it, it's like it's that feeling when like you know you're tired, but you don't feel like it. Alright. Safe to keep playing. Let's go. Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you've forgotten something. I didn't hear you whistle. Yeah, noise cancellation. My I have a filter on OBS. That basically, like, cancels out, like, noises, or, like, anything that's considered, like, back. So, uh, OBS is connected. Am I live? When the fuck did OBS disconnect? I don't know the exact moment. Yes, I'm back live. Um, I was trying to say, if I don't know if the stream picked it up, that what was I trying to say? I was saying that noise cancelling, like a filter on OBS, noise suppression doesn't pick up the whistling. And, um, and, uh, also, do you hear a fan in the background? Because I'm not really sure if, if it, if it's audible or not. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Ah, the lovely sensation of feeling like you've forgotten something. No, I don't. Okay, it's good to hear. Feeling better? But I shared those wonders for you. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. Bear be still up. Thank you. Thank you for pointing it out, because I, I, I did not realize it. <laughs> oh my god. I am stupid. I'm so dumb. Anyway. Well, for a given value of fresh, anyway. I insist that it sounds like dynamite. No, it was too long to be dynamite. It sounded like some heavy duty tool. You're a heavy duty tool. Yes, I am. Wait, wait, that, damn it. No, oh, welcome back. I could have sworn this place looked a lot more pink the last time we came. Maybe it's the lighting. Hey bartender. What did that noise just... Just sound... Just now sound like to you? I say it sounded like construction. But Betty here says it's dynamite or something like that. Not you too. Eh? Do you think it's dynamite then? What? No, I think it's a backfire. It's a gunshot. Firecrackers! <sighs> See? Those sounds have been going on all night. And I can't figure out what they are. Well, we aren't here to discuss that. We're here to... Um, who is he? Jillian, nice to meet you. I don't know. You have more of a John face. Where was he last weekend? Oh, so they're they're from last weekend. I don't know, and I don't care. He already made amends for leaving me to fend off all the dogs. Anyway, what do you want? Beer. Oh, what the hell? I'll have a beer, too. Two beers coming right up. Beer. You know what? Make them large. Just for them. Should be right. What if I only do... What if I only do one that is... Bigger than the other? Here you go. Thank you. Man, after work beer is always the best beer. Yeah. So tell me, bartender. Just call me Jill. Jill, that's a nice name. How's business lately? As usual. Wait. I guess you don't really know what usual means for us. Um, we're not the kind to be filled to the brim during rush hours. And we don't have that many regulars. Uh, I mean, hey, you have more regulars than me. That's saying too much. 
So it's just the same. Nothing's changed. I guess when we came here with all the dogs, it was quite the change of pace, huh? You have no idea. Um, I have a question, Jill. Is it about the girl sleeping next to you? Mmm, premium. Please, don't wake her up. Do you regularly let people sleep here? No, but I'd rather have her sleeping than talking. Should you... Should you be saying that with at least 4k people listening? Let them hear, I don't care. 6k people. She calls herself Streaming Chen. She's been streaming her life 24-7. That sounds familiar. I think one of the dogs talked about seeing someone doing that. I don't know if it's the same person. So 6,000 people are watching and hearing us. Considering the way she's sleeping, they're probably only hearing... They're probably only hearing us. Cameras against the table. I don't know how many are still in the channel though. I see. So... There will be a lot more witnesses if someone said... Do any of you have a criminal past? Nope. Just a minor charge of petty vandalism. What did you do? Painted graffiti outside of my high school saying Miss Thompson's a cunt. Oh my god. You know what's funny? I actually had a teacher called Miss Thompson that I threw a coin at and it got me uh like it, it and it got me into isolation. Yo, Betty. Like, <laughs> we, I think we had the same teacher. Why'd you do that? Because Miss Thompson was a cunt. She constantly humiliated whoever got her questions wrong. She also constantly bullied two of my classmates. True, I got a week of suspension and had to clean the wall. But it gave everyone the courage to speak up. So how's stuff up at Doglandia? Well, we recently struck a deal with Farmer Fabrics to start a doggy clothing line. Farmer Fabrics? The name rings a bell. It's that textile company where the owner believes herself to be an alpaca. Oh yeah, that one. We had her name... We, we had her here some time ago. She got drunk and... So much saliva. Everywhere. Oh. But... Anyway... Dog clothes. We hired a new employee, and she showed the higher-ups some designs. After a couple of talks, they decided to give the clothing production a try. Those designs were embarrassing, you know. But something tells me that's why they were approved. You guys want anything else? I'll have whatever this guy orders. Let's see. I'll have a Brantini. Two Brantinis then. 
Let's get them two Brantinis. Four, five, six, one, two, three, one. Um, all age. Uh, well, that didn't. Oh, that's seven. Oops. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Not seven. Thank you very much. Three. Wait. Oh, I put two. Oh, I somehow put two power delta and three and one. How did I manage to do that? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, one. It's as easy as that. Age it. There we go. Finally. And next. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, and one. What the fuck happened here? Did I? I forgot to age up. That's what happened. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. I almost put a fourth. There we go. Serve. Here you go. You have a wimpy taste in drinks deal. Not all of us spend their weekends in college partying like maniacs. Actually, not all of us went to college. You miss nothing. Sometimes I wish I could go back in time and kick myself. Hmm. Let me just move my mic real quick. Something on your mind? That girl's designing the clothes. Laura, what about her? She's cute, but she should take more care in her, in her appearance. I mean, right now, she fits the unkept cutie category so well that it's almost painful. It's so cliched that I can't help but cringe when I look at her. God, I hate the word cringe. Cringe? It's like when you see something... It's like when you see something that's such a cheesy movie cliche. You just feel like you need to kick whatever the hell it is. Kick? Betty, I didn't think I'd have to say this. I didn't think I'd say this to you twice in the same month, but you shouldn't kick people. I wasn't gonna kick her. Why do you think... Why do you think I'd kick her? Because... I've seen you kick people before. Apparently unprovoked or due to complicated reasons only you understand. Fine, guilt is charged. So I'm gonna do something about her. I feel like... I just need to. It's a matter of honor. Honor, she says. Well, maybe honor isn't the right word. B 
but she has potential and I'm not going to let her, her let her waste it. Jill, I'm gonna go check the antenna on the roof. Alright. She's your boss, right? Didn't you meet her before? Nope. I'm just a veterinarian. The dogs were the ones that organized a meeting with her. I'd say she's really only looking. I'd say she's really good looking. But honestly, those pants rob her off. Rob, rob, her, rob, rob, rob her off her charm. What do you mean? They make her look too uptight, and at a glance, she doesn't seem like the type. Some shorts or a skirt would fit her better. Hmm. Well, she wears a skirt or pants, depending on her mood. There was also this one time where... She came in wearing a kilt. That kilt was awesome. Damn. She has nice hearing. Now that I think about it... You have that hobby of speculating what someone's personality is like based on just their sock. Uh, based on just their looks. I mean... You did the same with Jill here. Amazing you actually made that sound weird as hell. Yes, I have a habit of trying to guess someone's behavior based on their looks. No, it's not a hobby. You made that sound like I'm some sort of creep. I, I did? What did you think about me? Nothing much really. Mostly that you were too polite. Not a natural polite though, more like a professional polite. Like... You're like that because you need to be. That was it really. I'm starting to feel it. I'm feeling it coming. Although, the way you looked at me when I said your boss could use a skirt or shorts was interesting. You seemed interested in what I said. Like you'd like to see that scenario. And my eyes are hurting. Oh my god, hold on. Ooh, hold on. My eyes. You're thinking too much. What do you think about Jill then? Hmm. Hmm. He's either a total simpleton or acts like one in a way that consumes the rest of his character. Heh. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I'm just a veterinarian. My judgment might be clouded by seeing so many furry businessmen. Let's have another round. Sounds like a good idea. I'll have... You'll have something strong. You need to pump... Some... Testo... Te testosterone... Into your taste... In drinks. What the fuck? He'll thank me later, trust me. Then... Two strong drinks. Manly drinks. I don't care which ones. 
Well, you shut up. What a bitch. All right. By type, many drinks. Um, give us suplex. On the rocks. And let's have a different one. Manly drinks. Wait, was it a... It was, okay. Let's do a pile driver. I never do that one. Here. Now drink. Mm. Oh man, I'll probably get used to this. Hey Jill, has someone ever uh, proposed to you as a prank? You know, make you think they're falling in love with you just to reveal that it was all a prank. It was just a prank, bro. Jill? First year of high school, the guy... I had my eyes on for a whole year, it asked me out. Saturday morning, I go to the meeting place. What do I find out? It was all a prank by some bitches. Ouch. Sorry, I... The worst part isn't... That they set me up, but rather that they saw it, that I saw it coming. I knew that guy wouldn't find me attractive enough to ask me out. Any of those bitches would target me sooner or later just for kicks. I knew it all so... I knew it all so when it happened, I felt nothing. They confirmed my suspicions that teenagers are a plague that must be eradicated. Exactly. Anyway, what a question. Hey, piece of scrap. Yeah? These are the situations where you should have stopped me before I said anything. It's better to learn by tripping yourself. Why the question though? Uh, um, I was asking because one of my ex's cousins has been hitting on me the past couple of days. If it were somebody else, I'd pretend to be straight. I pretend to be straight with the help of this piece of scrap here. Sadly, she knows who I am. Worst part is, knowing Vero, she probably put her cousin up to it as a practical joke. Well, I'd suggest telling the cousin that she should cut it out. If she feels genuinely offended, they might not have been in cahoots. But I'm just spouting nonsense based on what you told me. Don't pay too much attention. It's better than my suggestion. What was yours? Waterboarding. I s what? The fact that she knows how to waterboard somebody is what scares me the most. The Girl Scouts also taught me how to skin a deer. And I see nobody making a fuss about that. But yeah, your advice sounds good enough. Especially... Especially when you factor that if Gina's being honest about her you probably won't feel offended Gina which one was that again? 
blonde flat as a cutting board but cute as a button oh yeah she came to the office christmas party right that's the one well it's getting late we should be going yeah you great again for anything jill bye please come again back those damn cats moving the internet antenna Oh yeah, Jill, some guy said I should tell you that, uh, the bunny's late, What, whatever the fuck. Oh shit. Boss, I'm leaving early. If I don't come back in two days, consider me as good as dead. Yeah, yeah. Shouldn't we be worried? Think of him as a... Kid that tells outrageous stories to get attention, and everything will be easier. Besides, he knows how to take care of himself. Yeah. He'll be here on Monday like nothing ever happened. In any case, I'll be back in my office, maybe... Now I can finish watching... That... Didgeriboo tutorial. Hello, Jill. Ah, Stella. You're here for another drink today? Not really, I was just... Around the neighborhood and... Right... Anyway, I found this bottle being neglected at my house. And thought someone... Oh wait, it's not every day a client gives you a gift. You're not wrong. I thought someone who likes old liquor... As much as you would appreciate it. Really? I, I don't even know what to say. Thanks. Well, it's nothing really. He's kissed. This just in. Hmm? The Apollo Trust Bank has locked its doors, leaving about 30 people trapped inside. The security system was activated after somebody tried to steal information from the main database. Early this morning, the bank... Oh god, say! I wonder if she'll be alright. Ah, hello Jamie. Good evening, Jill. Did you see the news about the Apollo Trust Bank? The news flash just ended. Sounds like things got ugly. From what I heard, there was a commotion earlier today. Something about people being unable to leave this building. Let's hope for the best. Yeah. Jill turned up, stormed off just a minute ago, though. I see. I guess the bunny was late. He definitely knows what's going on. What can I get you? Give me a Mars Blast. Coming right up. Um... One Mars Blast. Oh my god, I'm starting to feel the tiredness. Oh. It's because I stood up. It's because of that break from earlier. I should not have done that. I should not have took a break.
One Mars Blast. Let me go. And now my throat is starting to hurt. Maybe I've made a series of mistakes that I shouldn't have done. Let me go make tea because I'm actually starting to be in pain now. I'm curious about wait am I uh I did a mute right on the BS yeah okay um I'm curious about something right because I'm I'm starting to realize now that I'm feeling tired my throat is starting to kill me again I'm just I like genuine question can like can Feeling tired hurt your throat? Is that a thing? Or am I just incredibly unlucky? Because I am. But you might want to put in a quick nap break, like 15 or 20 minutes. Just close your eyes and hopefully that will help you. Yeah, I might do that like on my chair, like I did, like for like. What the, oh, but the thing is, right, if I do that. I'll never wake up, no. Because the thing is, right? Once I end up sleeping, waking up is just not feasible. Like, I don't wake up until I wake up, is like how it, uh, how it, um, how it works for me. Because. Like, because last time I did an endurance stream, it was 50 hours. And... I was on my chair pretty much the whole time. Pretty much the whole time I was on my chair. I fell asleep on my chair. And then I ended up sleepwalking. I ended up sleepwalking to bed. Technically speaking, if your brain is tired, your body... Will feel messed up. Any problem you have will be more noticeable because your body is not happy with you. Ah. So maybe that's why my throat is hurting so bad. It's because, like. Okay. Hold on. Let me go make tea real quick, though. Yes. Oh, so maybe that's why I'm like... But yeah, so, so maybe that's why my throat keeps hurting. It's because like... It just hurts. Uh, it's because like... I guess I'm so tired that... Like my throat just gives up. I guess that's... Yeah, I guess, I guess that's reasonable, yeah. That, that sounds more correct. I guess maybe that's why like it, it, it hurts like every single stream. It's because I stream at 2 a.m. just normally. It's just that here it's an exception because I end up I stream at like what? Like 
I mean, here it's an excited because I'm, I'm streaming like literally every single hour, every single minute. Um, <sighs> okay, yeah. Um, I, I think, I think that I think prob I think mystery solved. All right. Well. Um, your throat was probably already hurting hours ago. It's just more noticeable because you're tired. I mean, it was hurting yesterday. Uh, it was hurting this morning. It was hurting... No, that's it. It was hurting yesterday, this morning, and then, like, oh, pretty much every single, like, previous stream ago. And now it's hurting now. Funnily enough, I think that the I think the one time that it didn't hurt was when I was about to fall asleep when playing Eve. Uh, you probably need to rest your voice for it, even uh, uh, your voice for it to even attempt to heal. Yeah, but the thing is, I played a lot of dialogue-heavy games like. Right now, this is literally just dialogue. And... Like... I, I think if... If, um... What am I sure? If, if I were to play, like... Like, I don't know. If I were to be silent, like, the whole time... It, I feel like it wouldn't be as uh, as engaging. I mean, it definitely wouldn't be as engaging. It would it, already. I'm not engaging like when talking. Imagine when silent. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, so I think if I was to do like a segment silent, like I did for Eve, because I had no commentary for that game. Uh, I just, I, I, I wouldn't, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like, what am I trying to say? It'll bother me, basically, long story short. Oh, wait.
Okay. Um. Do you know when your body is ready to force you to go to sleep? It'll make you think you're more comfortable to do so. So that you're more likely to accidentally fall asleep. Yeah, sometimes I, I catch myself, uh, like, just be extremely comfortable for no reason. Sometimes I, I just, I'm just like in the most uncomfortable position. I'm just like, oh, this is comfortable. Or I'm just not even in bed. Like I'm on like the floor. And I'm just like, oh, you know what? The floor is comfortable. Yeah, I think, I think this is where I'm going to sleep. And I just end up falling asleep and I sleep for like 20 hours. Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a special case because I just... Like, I either, I either don't sleep or I sleep too much. There's just no in-between. Yeah, this is the one. Mars Blasts have always seemed poorly named to me. Shouldn't it be red instead of yellowish? Then again, what is this beeping noise? Yet again, the whole red planet thing is just a nickname. Oh wait, it's streaming chat. I thought I thought it was it was streaming chat and talking. I thought it was um I thought it was the main character. VR can't believe I'm Hey, who's this girl? Jill. She calls herself Streaming Chan. She's, she's been streaming her life 24-7. I'm guessing her equipment's still running. So you might want to watch what you say. Thanks for the advice. Changing the subject. Have you been hearing explosions or something throughout the day? I heard that a supersonic drone was undergoing tests and lost its course. That might be it. Ah. Hey boss, the explosions were caused by supersonic drones. That sounds better than firecrackers. I've been trying to figure out what they were all day. I see. Sonic Boom are not sounds people can normally identify. And this one drone made a lot of noise when breaking the sound barrier. Is this an area to test that kind of stuff? It's not, which makes the whole thing quite suspicious. Huh? Man, if only Gil, if only Jill was... Was here to hear that info. He thought they were gunshots. Are you worried about him? Sort of. He always leaves without notice for days, but he always comes back unscathed. When I had COVID, my throat was on fire the whole time. But the one time my throat felt fun was after being awake for two days. Suddenly got so comfortable with no pain, I fell asleep in a wooden chair. That's interesting because like when I had like I think when I had COVID like 
I, I don't even remember if my throat was hurting because everything was hurting. I was just like, I was just in pain like the whole time. I've been lying, as I said, I'm not worried, but at the same time, I've just kind of become used to it. You can be a troublesome man, huh? Sometimes. Say, do you think the people in the bank will be alright? This isn't the first time a bank has closed like that. Something is off about this. Off? How? I don't know. Maybe it's the hour. Maybe it's the fact that the news is making an unusually big stink out of it. Let's hope I'm just overthinking it. Yeah. Are you worried about something? A girl that was in here yesterday said she was going to that bank. <laughs> it's not like me to be personally invested in what happens to clients, but... Never mind. Do you want something else? Yeah, I can make time for one more drink. Fetch me a beer. Let's keep it simple. Sure. Alright, let's get him a beer then. My COVID wasn't that severe. My vaccines worked. Um... Hmm. I I think my COVID wasn't that serious, but I'm not vaccinated, so I think for me, I, it probably took a, a, like a little bit longer to heal from. Here. I once read that beer played an important part in humanity's history. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It is an interesting one. I had to get vaccinated. I work at a uh, daycare. I was required to work during quarantine. Uh, yeah. I mean, that makes sense, though. Because I just kind of... Like, I, I just I just didn't leave home and still, like, caught COVID anyway. <laughs> like, I didn't leave home, so, like, I just didn't have, like, the time or the want to get the vaccine. Yeah, I'm familiar with the theory. It's an interesting one. The gist of it is that drink was an important part of society, society during its development. Drinks were ubiquitous while feasting. They helped to foster bonds uh, and build faction alliances. alliances. Given enough time and enough beer, larger societies would be born. Seem to know a lot about this. Nah, just enough. Vaccine was terrible. First week for a good seven days, I had swollen. I had a swollen, sensitive arm. But if I moved in any way, I would get sharp pains. Oh. Hmm. 
Yeah, I heard the vaccine was like really like like it had a lot of side effects to getting it. Like obviously it's a good thing because like you know you're getting you know, you're getting some side effects, but at the same time you're preventing way worse from happening. But at the same time, like you know some. No. It still sucks to, you know, have. Gay people insomnia? Oh, yeah. Like, I already, like, have, like, a, like a pseudo-insomnia. Like, I, I don't even want to imagine what I would... What I would be like if I had insomnia, like, for real. Like, actual insomnia. Jill, have you ever thought about brain uploading? Brain uploading? I was thinking, what's the point of uploading yourself if you're still here? Let's say you upload yourself and effectively... You, 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 let's say you upload yourself and effectively that new someone's in cyberspace. You will still be here. My mom couldn't sleep without medication for a good month. Yikes. That must suck, really. Wouldn't it be weird to know that there's a way that's not you somewhere? There, wait, no, there's a you that's not you somewhere? That's an interesting point. I guess... It'd be the same as cloning, huh? Imagine if your cyberspace self found out about the real you somehow. No. Oh. Imagine talking to your other self. There's more. Imagine placing multiple copies of you in different situations. Exposing each uh, each one to different scenarios. To see how they develop. I guess it is kind of heartbreaking in a way. Imagine someone with some illness uploading their brain into the ether. Only to find out their physical bodies are, are still alive. And here instead of living in a place where there is no disease. I remember an article from a while back about the earliest forms of brain uploading. It would scan the brain in such a thorough and intense manner that it would effectively kill the person. It used the words burn the brain. Ouch. All for nothing because the data would be corrupted or broken. They halted all brain uploading research after that. I think they started another project about living brains in jars or something after the... Oh my head. A subject interests you, huh? It makes for a nice time, sinks to fuck. Well then, nice talking to you, Jill. Same here, always a pleasure. Say hello to Jillian for me when he comes back. Please come again. Phew, hold on. You want to stay here? Seems the street's quite re restless. 
Thanks, but I'll pass. I have a couple. I have a couple of matters to attend to at home. You do? Yeah. I ordered a nano camera module for my apartment. Should be installed by now. Nano camo. Isn't that a tad expensive? Yep. To be honest, I asked my mom for it. She had been pestering me uh, about what gift I want for Mega Christmas for a while. She's been asking that for four years now and I've always said I was fine. So I took the chance and asked for it. Oh. I, I swear to... I keep pressing the fucking touch button and skips through dialogue. It was a bit weird to ask your parents for for a gift like that when you're 27. I'm sure she doesn't mind. So, what will the nanocamo module change from your, from your apartment? I got the basic plan. Was it none? Oh, for fuck's sake, I keep doing it. You have a Kodatsu? You know what a Kotatsu is, boss? I'm more impressed you know what it is. I I'm more impressed you know what it is. I mean, Kutons are common knowledge, but a Kotatsu? Not so much. Yeah, well... Days get cold and the heater might not be enough. And the Japanese have mastered how to live comfortably in reduced spaces. You should invite me sometime. I want to see how you decorate the place with that. Let's plan a day to grab a beer, yeah? No more dancing. I'm tired. What do we do with her? I'll take care of everything. Don't worry. All right, sorry for hit, for leaving for leaving her like this. No problem. Well, I gotta go. See you tomorrow, boss. Careful out there. Uh, hold on. How do I save? How do I save? Or did it auto-save, but I don't want to take my chances. Uh, I kind of want to load. Fuck. It's fine. I can re. I can just skip through the dialogue. That's the that's the good thing about visual novels. Is that you can skip through dialogue and go through it pretty quickly. And plus it's only just like. It's not even like a. Like a. Like a branching path kind of thing. So it's fine. 